Hello and good day everybody, we're back with the Civilization 6 World Cup, we're in the third week of the tournament and uh, we're still in the group stages, we're gonna see how this is gonna go, Takeshi left, good evening sir, good day sir actually, good morning uh, Heinic Dave, oh my god I hope you got your coffee ready, I do want to uh, double check with the players here, uh, okay, it looks like uh, they did uh, go and I'm gonna start up uh, their draft over here soon, um, monsieur, uh, actually uh, bonjour monsieur Rafifi, bienvenue, uh, Seb, hello there sir and welcome, that's a good question, age of steel, well we're gonna see if uh, we're gonna have some steel running around, uh, build one, good evening, good day sir and uh, welcome, welcome, um, Rodri, hello, hello there, sir, and welcome. Ozdemir Berg uh, picking up. Whoa, whoa, hello there, sir. Welcome, welcome. Heinic Dave did pick up that first promotion and the road first in the channel. Hello there, sir, and welcome. Uh, what a, uh, I think, uh, that's um, um, the thing. Thanks to Pulp, we have that intro. We're gonna have a co-caster uh, also for today. Uh, Justice was kind enough to actually join us, so let me actually unmute, unmute over here uh, the Discord so we can hear him. Hello there, sir. Hello, hello. Ah, two games so close to each other over here. We're gonna need to see how this is uh, gonna develop. Um, we do have the pre-game bans uh, set by them. Uh, both Persians got taken down. Cyrus and Nader Shah did get taken down by Shakur Porsoa. And then uh, Ptolemyk with and Zinga Mubande did get uh, picked up as bans uh, by uh, Nad Hyena. One single mention on this. Nad Hyena has a totally different uh, roster than the last time we've seen them in the previous uh, CWC. I'm not sure what happened there. But yeah, they're coming in with new forces into this tournament. Me also largely put the unknown players, so I guess uh, we have some hungry guys over here. Yeah, looking well. to prove themselves. Well, yeah, let's see, let's see. Uh, Pangea also standard bridges uh, picked up as a map over here for today. It looks like um, the first pan of uh, the game will be Abraham Lincoln, uh, chosen by Shakur Porsoa. On one side, we do have a kid with a CC Pyro, Fizzle Poisson and uh, Barak showing up for Shakur Porsoa. On the other side, Oliz Ozymandias with uh, Mikalit74, uh, Suvorov and Milentovic uh, showing up today for uh, Nat Haina to play this game out. Um, not sure if you uh, saw the score screen uh, over here, but let me actually uh, put it up really quickly on the screen so we know exactly where we are right now in the tournament in the third week. By the way, this is um, a quick link that I can actually give you over here. There we go. Uh, so you can uh, check it out for yourselves, um, especially with the new statistics. Uh, sometimes it does take a little while to uh, load up uh, the Excel sheet, but you should uh, have it over there on your screens. So uh, we're now uh, seeing a game for from let's see this is uh, group c group c shakun porsoa with uh, one win and one loss we do have not Haina with zero wins and two losses and i gotta say shakun porsoa we talked about them yesterday they did manage to snatch a victory from your lease uh, so uh, definitely showing up in the tournament there in the first uh, week with uh, quite a few muscles Let's come back uh, to the game here. We do have in the active pan phase also Spain uh, taken down, Cree taken down, Scotland uh, got taken down on the Pangea. A bit of a difference uh, in the map generation versus yesterday. Uh, Pangea standard ridges uh, that does get those uh, mountain uh, mountain ranges uh, according to the continent splits uh, that we're going to see on the map. And uh, we will have a lot more choke points for them to uh, quote unquote defend behind. So we're going to need to see uh, how the map Map will be generated also now there's quite a discussion in the players channel over there about uh, remaps no remaps remaps no remaps or uh, uh, what uh, should be changed over there um, in, in the upcoming uh, rules we're going to need to see if uh, they actually come to a conclusion um, one of the things that did get pointed out that we've seen uh, quite a few players um, spawn on island somewhere <laughs> i think uh, actually um, we do remember uh, task for fish uh, spawning with zulu on an island at some point and i'm pretty sure he's he's quite mad about that <laughs> And we do have uh, Khmer also taken down with uh, Chandra Gupta. And finally, we're going to see uh, the picks over here. Kid is uh, going to be the first one to pick. And it is going to yeah. be 
Age of Steam. This was a, a question over there. Uh, Simonisha also, uh, hello there, sir. Um, I, I did see a question earlier from a Seb. If we're going to see Age of Steel, I guess he's referring to Age of Steam as well. All right. Uh, well, it looks like it is. It is getting first picked over here on Pangea. What, what do you think about this? First pick Victoria Age of Steam on Pangea. Well, it's obviously Pangea standard witches, so sim like the chances that you can actually sim in a corner are much higher than on classic witches. So uh, very very strong sim pick. Yeah. But, uh... Yeah, it might make sense. It might make sense. Uh, now, I do have to point uh, something. Uh, usually, the Russian community is quite aggressive. So, we're going to need to see, uh, especially right now, seeing them on Basil the Second. This just uh, triggered my mind over here. Oh, no. Are we actually going to see all full warships over here on this Pangea? Uh, I would love to actually see some, uh, you know, early Macedon action, some uh, Genghis Khan, some uh, something like that. But I, I think uh, they're not going to take that much chance. In uh, the game, early warfare is uh, quite uh, tricky to actually um, uh, get going. Unfortunately, uh, there are quite uh, well. Unfortunately, a lot of the times uh, you do end up um, uh, quote unquote derailing uh, your opponent instead of actually overtaking his um, empire. While yes, sometimes it's a good thing in my, in the big outcome of the game, it might not be that good of a thing if you don't manage to um, overtake those uh, series and give yourself a boost. Um, hello there, hello there. I, I do uh, have to say uh, an, another thing. I have in my mind actually to make a YouTube video that was uh, requested about early game warfare, uh, or I should say the early game mentality over here. Do you have a few... Um, um, not to say a few bullet points to make on this. Well, first you obviously have to look at um, like team assaults. Obviously, completely different from like FFA, where mm -hmm. like when you rail yourself, you can uh, lose the game, right? While in teamers, um, it can be more seen as a trade of resources. So like as as long as you have like. Um, one guy simming in the back, like mm -hmm. being your quote-unquote late-game insurance, mm -hmm. um, it's completely fine to evaluate yourself uh, as long as the, the whole team does not do so. Yeah. So, like, if uh, pretty much, uh, if if you're playing uh, Civ with a war bonus, uh, the chances are high that you can like force out more resources from the opponent than you actually have to invest yourself. So even though you will not necessarily take all the cities, it's still a good trade. Yeah. Uh, if this makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True, true. So this is why we see so much more classical warfare on teamers than we may see on FFA or whatever. Followed. Hey, Fana Mari, thank you so much for uh, the follow, sir. <laughs> Uh, looking at the picks over here, looks like uh, Seijong got picked. Uh, that's, uh, I guess, uh, that's going to be one of the simmers over here on um, uh, Nat Kaina. We do have also Hungary picked up in the fourth choice. And uh, CC Pyro is going to play it with uh, Age of Steam over there on uh, their side. Uh, two quote-unquote gold civilizations here. Both are actually uh, going to start with uh, gold generating districts, either the Royal Navy Dockyards or on, one, on the other side, commercials. Um, we uh, do see also Zulu got taken down. Uh, Japan uh, coming up in the eighth one, uh, eighth uh, ban here. And I do have to mention yesterday, uh, Hungary just didn't get to play his game, did he? With uh, Canada so close to him, he was uh, getting pushed over there by his opponent. And uh, no commercials first. He was forced to to go other districts mm, yeah yesterday's game was really like I, th I think a lot of people do not realize that hungary actually doesn't have four bonuses for himself other than like op yeah. arguably a very good to you but this obviously comes in later so like on horse warfare it's really a no bonus sieve. so he yeah. was like a, a, like he was as unhappy in the situation as canada was so yeah uh, cool. what what Hungary wants to do is apply pressure somewhere else on the map, not uh, not close to him. Well, th this might be a better map for him, a more fitting map for uh, Matthias yes. Corvinus' gameplay. 
we do have uh, Teddy Roosevelt, the Rough Rider, also taken down, and Inca. Inca. I'm very surprised about uh, the Inca choice over here for uh, the ban phase. I think quite a few other civilizations would have uh, merited a ban here, but I guess, uh, you know, they did what they did, and now we're going to see the outcome. Uh, Ozymandias is going to pick up uh, Rome. He's uh, going to have a uh, good, uh, flexible civilization to uh, play with uh, in the third choice of uh, Nath Haina over here, while uh, Fizzle, Poison, and Banak are the next ones to, to pick up civilizations on their side uh, we do need to see how their um um, how they will try to get some advantages for uh, their teammates. Uh, also, Tamar or Bast, Kyber is uh, calling out Tamar over here. Well, I'm not gonna lie, I, I do want to see some Tamar gameplay, but it's kind of hit or miss, is it? Uh, we, we do have um, Fizzle Poiseau going for uh, Gorgo, and uh, yeah, another good civilization to play with. Yesterday we've seen how powerful Gorgo uh, timings can be, and uh, he didn't even get to fascism. He didn't go uh, crazy with his uh, stats, he just wanted or I should say his culture as we usually see Gorgo he wanted to push his opponents over there as hard as possible benefiting from the extra damage that he gets from um, its um, cards from the military policy slots well, one last save and Shakun Porsoa is gonna get their uh, roster here uh, also, Heinic Day, if they don't want early tunnels, would make uh, chokes irrelevant. Uh, yeah, that's a good point. There we go. That's a good point. Early uh, Capagnans over there uh, might be a problem for uh, Pangea standard ridges. Well, also, like Inca is pretty niche civilization, but on standard ridges, uh, you actually have a decent chance of having a good Inca game. So it's understandable. Some people are still very convinced uh, on Inca. Okay, okay. Well, uh, let, let, let's see what they're going to pick otherwise. Uh, Barak going for Montezuma. That's going to finish up uh, the draft here. And I got to say, there are three civilizations that are going to generate gold on Shakun Porsoa with uh, Suleiman Muhteshem being picked up here last by Mihalic. Mikhail, Mikhail, Mikhail T74. I'm, I'm sorry if I mispronounced this. Uh, I guess I'm going to need to be better, stronger. It is what it is. Uh, okay, uh, so on one side we do have uh, Victoria Age of Steam, Matthias Corvinus with uh, Gorgo and Montezuma. On the other side we're gonna see uh, Rome, Suleiman Muhteshem uh, with uh, the, uh, Basil II and uh, Sejong uh, being uh, picked up by them. Uh, let's actually uh, turn off the two of them and draft for them so they can uh, do whatever they want here. I did set up uh, the team names, uh, hopefully I did set them, set them up correctly. Yeah, uh, it's uh, Shakun Porso having the first one, the second one is uh, Nat Haina. Uh, Ostemir, that's how you uh, that's how you pronounce it, right? Ostemir Berg, uh, Muhteshem. Uh, to, to be honest, uh, a lot of the pronunciation is um, how to say uh, it's uh, kind of in Romanian. We uh, pronounce the H, uh, which is like H in English, the H, uh, so, and uh, we do have the Sh, which is not really found in other languages, or uh, not as far as I know. Do we have a Sh in uh, German? Mm, uh, yeah, yeah that, that would be uh, S C H uh, normally, but uh, like okay. as as in every language, there are a lot of weird pronunciation uh, out of the rules as well. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, sh exactly with the sh <laughs> chocolate. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, let's uh, now that uh, we have uh, quite a few uh, Frenchies over here, we we can talk about uh, chocolatine or uh, pen or chocolate. And that's always a good subject. Yeah, let, let's create some uh, uh, drama over here. Uh, when I see how we struggle just for ich, ich, oh ich, yeah ich. Uh, the CH is uh, pretty strange for us. Yeah, well, to be honest, it's pretty strange for us also to pronounce a lot of uh, the the words in uh, French. So I guess, uh, you know, we're equal in that. <laughs> it is what it is. Okay, so uh, with that, we do have uh, the game going. Looks like the players uh, did choose Matthias Corvinus and uh, Rome to be uh, the top uh, slots over there. Uh, in interesting choices. I believe they're going to fight for those uh, merchants, which I'm a bit surprised. I was expecting also Suleiman Muhtesha uh, to be higher up. Um, I, I guess we're going to need to see if he's uh, going to get those merchants. He's going to be competitive. Um, I, I got to say, I'm not really expecting a lot of early warfare from them uh, on Pangea, but there is that possibility. Uh, it, it, it depends uh, so much on uh, their map placement. Now, uh, we do have uh, also 
Um, I'll say uh, the prediction coming up over here in uh, the channel. How many remaps? So they do have two remap tokens, uh, one for each team. A uh, 10 10. Uh, we're gonna have a pause and uh, we're gonna let them uh, choose. So they're gonna have a voting um, of uh, one minute, voting period of one minute, and, and we're gonna see how this uh, goes. Oh wow, data warning. Okay, sure. Short phone. Don't, don't, why are you giving me? Oh, oh, by the way. It, it, um, Oh man, uh, never mind. This is another subject, but uh, I, I guess I can uh, just uh, get it out of my mind quickly. Uh, we had the um, exams, exam period in Romania, right? And uh, I don't know if you know those uh, hard alerts that um, we do in Romania, or maybe there are some alerts um, from uh, the, the state or the, uh, how to say, um, um, they, they push the alerts on the phones. Do you have that in Germany? Like, for example, for storms or for some uh, events, uh, wild animals that got free or some, something like that, or they're in dangerous areas. Do you guys have that? You have in the U.S. Okay, you have in the, in the U.S. I don't know in Germany if you have one. Well, technically, yes. Like, it's, like it, it's been set up as a program, but I think it's never been used yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Uh, ours, uh, our state actually uses it uh, quite, uh, well, I should say, relatively uh, um, uh, well with the um, storm warnings and stuff like that, that you should actually uh, try to get home and uh, blah, blah, blah. But, but in the last two weeks, since we did have the exam period, uh, they actually found uh, a student in the classroom that had a phone, which is not allowed to have phones in uh, the classroom so when you do uh, get exams going, because his uh, alert started sounding. And this is not something you can stop, as in you can't put your uh, phone on uh, mute. <laughs> Do you know? Oh my God. What, what can I say, man? It is what it is. Unforeseen counters, uh, consequences. Emergency broadcast system in the US. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he got caught, man. He got caught. It is what it is, man. Unfortunate for him, but it is what it is. Uh, I guess fortunately for the system, unfortunately for him. Uh, we do have uh, Rome coming up in the northwest part of uh, the game over here with uh, Milentovic uh, having uh, the benefits of... Uh, Staying on the coast or even uh, moving out on that 3-1 uh, tile to the southwest where he has a honey tile. I think he's just going to stay on the coast, to be honest. Um, it doesn't actually make a lot of sense to move. Uh, no, does he have a lot of good tiles uh, to work there? Uh, in the north, he's going to be fine. He has a choice to also go for the Mercury to the northwest for a much better harbor. Uh, we're going to need to see what uh, Milentovic is uh, going to get going here. Yeah, okay, there we go. Two, two base stayed in place. It is what it is. Didn't want to move. He's still going to get the turtles uh, in both cases. Uh, to the south, looks like uh, he's going to have an opponent. Uh, this is going to be Gorgo. This is Sparta coming up with um, his 2-2 uh, two, two base, he has multiple other 2-2s two, around his series, a decent um, amount of mountains over here that can be um, uh, used to get some adjacency towards his uh, districts, especially the campuses, I would see him uh, also possibly benefiting from a 3-2 banana to the west side, and he does have Mount Kilimanjaro on the right side with a deer tile, oh my god, I mean, uh, honestly, uh, I'm not sure exactly where he's gonna put a city here, uh, maybe I'm thinking wheat tile on the east side or something, or even the 2-2 base over there on the east side, does make sense, but he's gonna have to fight for uh, it with the Ozymandias, look, look how close they are, oh my god, they're gonna fight for Mount Kilimanjaro. We might see a non-freshwater city on one side, a freshwater city on the other side, and then uh, a grab for land over here for the tiles of Kilimanjaro. Uh, hello there, sir. Monkey Wazaru. How are you doing on this fine day? Uh, okay. Uh, we do have Ozymandias with uh, Korea, Sejong with a 3-2 banana, 1-3 tile to the south. Uh, he also has access to dice tiles for an extra faith point. And I do notice uh, he has uh, multiple other cities in the south. Uh, unfortunately for him, a lot of geothermals, which are actually going to not give him anything here. The Seons, as far as I know, don't actually get the benefits of um, geothermals. So that's kind of meh over here. But it is what it is. Uh, he's on a triple continent split. A continent to the north, a continent to the south. I, I rarely see this, actually, uh, continents on the horizontal like this. Uh, Korea is going directly to Kilimanjaro and Sparta has to wait for Scout. Uh, yeah, he is. He is actually going. Well, I guess it depends on the warrior. No, he moves south. He actually moves south. Uh, 
okay it is what it is man it is what it is he uh he's not gonna see that uh, as fast as uh we thought he will and i think sparta is gonna be the one that's uh, gonna discover that wonder uh, in the northeast, we do have uh, Hungary uh, coming up uh, next to Rome also. Uh, he's uh, again in a position that uh, might actually put him in danger over here. Uh, with, uh, Rome does have uh, pretty good units um, at his uh, iron working timing with those uh, legions. While uh, Kid over here does have a city state on the west side of Rome that he could benefit from if he actually uh, discovers it. We do have uh, the city of Bura with his 2-2 base, uh, does look like he's, he did buy the 3-2 banana, has a 1-3 deer tile to work for extra production, a few other camps around his cities with uh, more uh, deer tiles on the east side, north uh, fur tiles, and I do notice a decent amount of mountains. Uh, not bad cities, but I can't say I'm uh, that uh, amazed by the south over here. I guess uh, between the mountains to the east side, it's going to be a little better. Southwest, he can place a city, but he's kind of lacking uh, two tools over there to get going. And uh, to be honest, he might actually go for um, religious idols over here for so much mercury. Uh, one, two, three, four, five tiles that get me improved, improved to get that gold and the uh, faith. I might make uh, these mercury tiles uh, much better. Or will make actually. We do have uh, Aztec also with a triple continent split. And as you can see, the north uh, he has a uh, red continent, he is on the green continent. Oh, quadruple continent split if he actually goes far in the south. But that's where Byzantium stays. And uh, yeah, that's going to be a problem for him to actually get uh, that close to Byzantium. And we're going to need to see also Barak, uh, Barak's decision uh, to go against uh, Korea over here. We do have uh, six, uh, turn six, four more turns to go. And uh, we do notice they did meet each other uh, this is uh, gonna be dangerous for the scout the eagle warrior does have uh, the extra strength uh, 28 base strength against Ozymandias uh, scout uh, having city names with team names is very helpful uh, okay that, very good very good also Angelic uh, hello there sir yeah, there we go. Uh, triple continent split here. Uh, I, uh, in terms of resources, because that's what it matters, right? It's not only the uh, continents, it's also the resources. Does look like he actually has access to them. He's going to have access to uh, fur. He's going to have access to um, his uh, silk tile. Ignorance just followed. Oh, Ignorance, thank you so much for the follow, sir. Uh, looks like uh, he actually doesn't have a lot of resources. Only plus two. Whoa. Then he's going to need to go so far in the north between the mountains for a truffle tile. I don't know about this. In the south, access to an amber. Okay, plus three, plus four with an incest tile to the southwest. And, uh, uh, oh well, it is, that's it. Plus five, maybe dice tile plus five. Oh well. Then that's uh, that's not the biggest one of uh, Aztec with uh, so many continent splits that we've seen. Anyway, uh, we do have uh, London coming London coming up with uh, settler three two banana two two three uh, truffle tile to get some uh, extra food going. Pretty good city in the north uh, to get that uh, Royal Navy dockyard going, and uh, I do see some mountains for his. Um, uh, for his campuses man this, these are a lot of mountains i gotta say i was expecting a lot less mountains this is so weird how the map generated anyway i, I guess there's no island so you know that's a perk uh, we do have uh, also ottomans uh, the last civilization to take a look at uh, suvorov uh, suvorov is it yeah i, I think yeah suvorov uh, will have a lot of cities to settle over here a possible lady of the reeds with a temenanki in the north uh, sugar settle does wink at me he has another cattle settle to the southwest and it looks like he is actually gonna choose that uh, western side uh, we do see him also benefiting from so much fresh water from these rivers and this is something that Ottomans uh, really wants uh, for those uh, commercials and of course upcoming uh, grand bazaars uh, when he's gonna get his uh, bank technology that's uh, that's gonna be the moment that Ottomans just explodes with gold the new Mali as some would call it uh, Marish, uh, actually, uh, Aztec Triple Continent. Hello there, sir. And yes, indeed, Abu Dusiakaka. Hello, hello, sir. Uh, Mirtas, hello, sir. Gonna be massive. Ottomans is gonna be massive, indeed. Now, we do have just a few more seconds to go until uh, they're gonna choose if they want to remap this or not. Looks like Korea and Korea did find out on the west side about uh, Greece. Greece is not letting him pass. Uh, Mount Kilimanjaro started to explode. Uh, you can see that Aztec is getting in uh, to uh, the borders of uh, Seoul 
and he's gonna try to uh, see if he can actually do some form of damage over there or at least pressure uh let's actually put up uh, the uh, votes uh quickly quickly multiplayer uh remap vote okay i don't know why every time i uh, make this uh, remap i'm looking at admin remap and i'm like oh is this the correct setting is, is this the button i need to actually press yeah, same for me. <laughs> you know, it, it just it's in the middle of the choices, you know, and I'm like, oh, I shouldn't pick this. I shouldn't click on this. No. Okay, so uh, 30 seconds. Hey, what do you think, uh, Justice? What do you think we're going to see here quickly? We got 10 seconds, uh, maybe 20. I think it's fair enough, but uh, there are also caveats for both teams. Like, uh, Age of Steam will not have any trading opportunities, and then you also, like, Korea must also be very unhappy with, uh, with, with the spawn he has. Yeah. Like, there are, there are arguments to play it, there are arguments to remap for both teams, so I cannot really predict. Yeah, that that's true. Let's see. Oh, we do have actually Korea's uh, choices here. It looks like they did not like their spawn. I do want to unpause and uh, wait for the turn to roll over so we get this uh, going in the next phase. Um, gotta say, there's the there was so much potential for war on this map. Like everybody would have warred everybody, and maybe Age of Steam would have uh, had a little bit of peace over there on the eastern side of the map, but still Ottomans uh, could have done something uh, to him uh, from the north. Of life beneath water. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's Mutashem though. Like, um, Mutashem really just wants to sim along and uh, be big, mm -hmm. quite a lot of gold, so I don't think they would have done much to each other. Uh, trading opportunities were pretty grim, like yeah. these, these were very spread out and mixed all over the place, right? Like there was not like a clear vote for anyone here, so that, that's would have true. been a that's very true. chaotic game. Everybody was between uh, every uh, somebody else. I, they were playing in uh, crisscross. Okay, we got a peninsula. Is there somebody on this peninsula? Yes, there is a Byzantium over here. Whoa, we didn't see Byzantium last time, but anyway, uh, Byzantium uh, is uh, gonna get the peninsula settled. Not gonna be happy about this. <laughs> oh man, he's, he doesn't have a single opponent to go against. Oh, free simming Byzantium. That moment when you actually pick a worship and you're free simming. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. Uh, it's fair enough, though. Like, uh, Isil is happy enough to sim up and uh, push on a much later timing. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, just to answer the question of MD Chops here, uh, it is uh, an eight man uh, standard size. Uh, also, access lead. Uh, hello there, sir. Uh, Basil Uga Booga. Uh, well, uh, Basil uh, is, uh, is actually gonna get a uh, pretty good uh, sim over here. What can I say? Uh, unfortunately, not a lot of fresh water, but I'm pretty sure he can make use of it. We're just waiting for everybody to uh, resync. Uh, and get the information and we're gonna get to talk about the uh, ottomans here he's the westernmost uh, civilization on the map now oh this time actually ottomans with uh, sejong will get to trade okay and on the seas this is gonna be pretty good oh, pretty good we also with uh, much better say one opportunities here so many more hills yeah so many more hills i'm uh, surprised actually about the pick of uh, sejong on uh, pangea as far as i've seen it's kind of hit or miss so i'm actually curious if uh, this time it's gonna be a little bit better uh, it looks like from the initial land if they don't remap this uh, he's gonna have uh, more opportunities to get uh, good seons and mines around them uh, yeah we've seen uh, quite a few times uh, sejong got uh, uh, got shafted it, it's honestly a very strong tip, uh, if you know what you're doing. Uh, it, yeah. It's not only about the uh, Sejong adjacency, it's really just on the very strong tip. Uh, let's see, Basil has a quarter of the map to himself. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Also, Axis is saying, uh, I have rather the feeling Basil is uh, naval fighting with uh, Age of Steam. Is is he? I, I don't know. Oh, Age of Steam is to the north. Uh, oh, I see. I see where, what you're saying over here. We're going to need to see if uh, Ottomans is going to go full coastal, or at least uh, of quite a few coastals. Uh, also, what am I? What am I saying? Clean up crew, Brazil. Well, we'll see. We'll see if uh, he's going to get uh, to that point. 
Uh, I do uh, also want to point out we do have uh, Byzantium settling his city. He has access to a three to one fertile uh, in the second ring, also a silk tile, and this is this is gonna be quite uh, something for him. What is he gonna put his gold in? A, a little bit of culture or more food to get more population to work more tiles and get more culture and science and production at the same time. <laughs> you know, it's it's quite a pickle. It's quite a pickle, man. What what do you go for? Uh, he does have a good settle in the north over there on the uh, two. To base from what I can see next to that uh, iron tile and uh, he's, if he is going to follow the rivers on the east side uh, he's going to need to um I would say be careful about that uh, floodable terrain. Uh, I do notice uh, he can settle a decent amount of coastals, but that would put him at uh, odds over here with uh, England, with uh, Age of Steam CC Pyro. Uh, they're going to need to duke it out over there to the northeast. Uh, looks like also Seoul did get uh, placed on a 2-2 base with uh, multiple sheep tiles available. Uh, the builder first strategy uh, comes into play here. Uh, it looks like uh, five turns to get that going and uh, he's gonna need to scout uh, his land accordingly uh he's he probably knows because of the vision they have uh, that they're, they're very close by and there's uh, no chance there's gonna be a civilization between them so it's it's fine somebody's gonna actually scout the land between them uh we do see to the north a decent amount of mountains uh, protection versus uh, england age of steam and of course the other way around now uh, england does have a few uh, lakes that he could uh, settle in the south uh, to get closer also ekil over here not bad not bad actually put a city next to ekel and he's gonna get to um, get boats out through the london uh, city center and to, to the major oceans we do have him with a possible amber tile to improve in the capital a 311 fish tile he did choose to go for scouts uh, to get that early information and uh, by the looks of it he started scouting east side uh, he's gonna get closer to uh, rome over here milentovic if he uh, keeps on going to the east and uh, i think actually he should uh, or uh, sometimes uh, we do see uh, England scouting out his coast so he gets that vision over the potential settles. We've discussed this a little bit uh, but didn't go into uh, full details yesterday uh, just this about uh, the scouting of uh, and the information that you get scouting strategies at the beginning of the game. Uh, yeah especially as a naval sub you have to differentiate if you're actually looking for naval warfare then you're kind of supposed to settle coastal so you can produce galley. But in yeah. this case, he's really just looking for good expanse uh, because he wants to sim up. Yeah. Well, I do see his uh, scout is moving uh, south here. And uh, my big question is, is he going to find Ikil? That's, uh, that's something that's uh, going to need to be discovered in the south here. Oh, uh, Shakun Porsua, kid, got a relic. Pretty worthless though, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, uh, worthless as a uh, wonder, yes. Uh, Era score, no. And I do see the position is not that worthless. As in, he can uh, get some extra culture over there, good tiles uh, to work, and uh, he can use that city to pump out boats, like I was saying. Let's uh, quickly bounce around the map here because uh, we're uh, four, five turns away from uh, getting a new remap. Only uh, Shaku Borsua has a remap token. Uh, Milantovic getting his 2-2 uh, base. We do have him with a 2-3 deer tile. I do see him also benefiting from uh, other uh, settles in the north and the south. Uh, good rivers uh, for him and uh, quite a defensive position against uh, the west, against England uh, later on in the game. He does have uh, two sieves to worry about. One in the south is Hungary, one in the east is uh, Aztec. And we're going to need to see if uh, they're going to try to uh, push at some point Rome. I don't think at the beginning of the game, but, you know, at some point. Now, we do have Buddha with a culture point. Uh, he is acquiring... What is that? What is that? I don't see it. A marble. He actually has mar marble underneath his city settle. Uh, he does need to invest a little bit into his tiles to get other two tools. Uh, forest fire did start up on the north. So maybe we're going to see it spread and uh, get some extra fertility there, making his capital a little bit better. He's also so close to a continent split here oh wait no <laughs> he's actually on a four continent split wow okay so amazing access to resources here uh no one getting the good yeah task. quad split obviously always looks good but yeah. uh, i think people overestimate it because there's kind of no way that you will get access to all 16 uh, lexus 
yeah that, that's true. that's true but at least uh, if you do manage to get like eight it's still much better than having just four um we, we do uh, take a look at uh, tenochtitlan starting to move his units to the south uh, doesn't actually have a city state to go against and uh, maybe bully him for some uh, free builders uh, also sparta is uh, to his south uh, it does look like he's gonna breach the fog of war over there uh, so an ally uh, that also means uh, he's probably gonna focus all of his efforts to the west and he's gonna need to split this land somehow with the Fizzle Poison, uh, we do need to see uh, how they're gonna end up uh, in the negotiation table to actually get this uh, land split up. Um, on uh, Sparta, we do have him with a uh, one for deer tile. He does have a two two uh, sheep tile also to work. It looks like uh, settles uh, on fresh water from uh, the rivers and the lakes. And I did uh, notice a comment here in the chats about um, uh, fresh water being a little bit overrated for uh, the later settles. Uh, yes and no. Yes and no. Uh, having the extra population, having the extra production uh, from um, freshwater cities because they get the opportunity to grow faster, it's uh, usually a much better tempo, equals into a much better tempo in for the late game. Now, in the late game, uh, you might uh, not get that much about the freshwater because you should be able to make your gold, uh, you should be able to have um, you know, ways of uh, aqueducting your cities and so on and so forth, which uh, will help you uh, quite a bit more. Now, depending on the situation you might even get to buy green it is just instantly you know depends on how much gold you're getting uh let's take a quick pick on oh. basil again yes yes sorry i was just uh, the goggle was mismanaging tiles stopping to one pop it's actually really bad on your first settler oh he was working the one for deer tile yeah. okay. only working one for deer dropping down to one pop is actually pretty bad yeah, I guess. Well, let's see. Oh, 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 right. I totally yeah. forgot. I got, uh, I got distracted. I'm sorry. Yes, Bex. Thank you. So, Obrigado. Uh, not, not a, you know, uh, obviously, uh, cannot remap this anymore. I don't know, uh, CPS might be tempted here, like, the, by information they have, uh, Age of Steam is isolated once again, Montezuma's pretty boxed in. Uh, it's uh, certainly not ideal for them. Depends if they are in a gambling mood or not, like, uh, the tile yields and expands and everything is nice enough. So, like, if, if they remap, they would do it uh, do it in map position. But obviously, this is always uh, pretty much a gamble, if you're in a gambling mood or not. Yeah, that's uh, that's true. Uh, they can set up uh, coastal trade routes over here between Gorgo and uh, Montezuma. Um, and, yeah, it is going to be a remap. It is going to be a remap. Oh, sorry. Okay, so... Next uh, turn, I click confirm, and uh, let's see the second remap and the final map. Well, yeah, whoever predicted two remaps uh, will get the precious points, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> uh, actually, the most points were put into uh, two remaps over there. Yeah, there, there we go. There we go. Uh, no Dromon on Aztec Capital. Yeah, not quick. Not quick. Uh, well, yeah, Aztec would have uh, have to settle like six cities before it gets access to the seas, and uh, at this point, Romans are pretty outdated. But, yeah. Yep. Okay, just a few seconds to go. Okay, big question because I, I I need to get myself a new monitor. How do I find out? Is there a website that actually has all the panels, uh, reviews for each television that actually gives you the luminosity of that uh, of that monitor or television? Because I can't find one. I found some, but they're not. Uh, it's not the database is not getting updated, and I cannot find them even on the official sites. And I'm like, no, I want to know the numbers. So this is like one piece of information that, for some reason, the um, manufacturers are uh, keeping away from us yeah i don't know about this uh, i can only tell you yeah, you, can, you can they never it. give out the bus weights and stuff like this but they are uh, wait wait what you cut out over there sorry mm. yeah i mean it's uh, really just technical stuff i have no clue <laughs> <laughs> okay 
Yeah. I mean, I don't get me wrong. I don't know that much. I, I'm just uh, frustrated that I'm trying to get the technical details. And that's exactly the piece of information that's missing. <laughs> you, know? you know, that moment when you want to find something and you want to compare only on that uh, on that subject something. And that's exactly what's missing in uh, the majority of the cases. Yeah, it's pretty much the same with PCs. Like you, you, like usually you just have like a name of a graphics card or like a big processor or whatever. Yeah. But uh, like there, there are so many crucial things on on the motherboard, like busway stuff like this, which they pretty much never give out. So you you really have to kind of test it out yourself or like dive really deep into. Like this, this is not stuff which is shown on the websites because a lot of people are not aware of it. Yeah, and they don't but, want us to know, man. It's a conspiracy. I mean, this is usually the bottleneck uh, of your PC, like. Yeah. But I guess it's uh, just not that popular, so it's a selling point. <laughs> Uh, I guess so. Uh, Pretty Flowers, hello there, sir. Um, why does he even talk about star positions before the remaps are done? His effort is wasted. Uh, yes and no. I do I do understand that it is... Uh, well, at the beginning, when I did start uh, getting uh, some form of uh, like structure going for uh, my stream, I did notice, yes, indeed, sometimes, especially with multiple remaps, I do get to talk uh, too much about the response and so on. But at the same time, um, we do get the information about uh, if they will be likely uh, to uh, remap or not and uh, that's one of the predictions we have until we're gonna f f uh, fit on a map we're gonna sit on a map so bouncing around the spawns talking about their uh, positions their available resources their uh, possible trades their uh, uh, possible words and so on i think it's valuable information for uh, for the stream uh, also so he should just sit there in silence yes Yes, sit there in silence. Can you imagine if if I just sit here in silence and just bounce around the cities? Woohoo, let's go. <laughs> that that would definitely help my voice out. <laughs> Uh, Tanhaus, also oh, good evening, sir. Uh, I mean, you need to talk about everything to evaluate the spawns. Uh, that is true. Final thing, good evening. Uh, actually, good day, sir. Uh, good on tag. Good on tag. Yeah, good on tag. Uh, we do have uh, Rome coming up uh, to the northwest, and this time we're gonna go a little bit more into the details here. It looks like uh, Rome does have a whale tile over there to benefit from. Uh, three tiles out fish tile on the western side, quite expensive, but he can get it. Uh, fresh water from a lake, and uh, I do notice at the beginning uh, he's probably gonna working, uh, be working the sheep tile, but he has a bit of a problem with the food generation if he's gonna work only these uh, one threes. So I'm actually surprised he's going for a scout instead of a builder and sailing so he can get uh, a that those uh, tiles in the north there he's probably gonna buy out the sheep tile to keep on growing uh, at a decent pace uh, it does also seem like the map is kind of forcing him to go uh, coastal uh, to the southwest and to the northeast uh, now uh, we don't actually have age of steam on this oh uh, maybe maybe oh we do oh there we go cc pyro in the south a little bit of tundra and you know there's just a touch of uh, snow over here in uh, to the southwest a touch of uh, cold uh, for London and we do have him with the opportunity to get the boats out through the one touch of, through the south and uh, maybe at some point fight off uh, the Roman Navy uh, we do have also in the city of Rome uh, horses that are quite far away to the northeast and his iron tile is quite uh, far away from his uh, capital city both are three rings out very expensive to get uh, the f uh, usually the tiles at the beginning are 25 or the second ring 35 on the third ring and of course if you do have to uh, buy out of third ring tile with a two uh, ring tile that's going be quite expensive man yeah 60 gold just uh you know that, that's uh just about the scout man you get an extra scout more info i don't know it's uh, sometimes it's a uh it's a bit too much for the teams to uh, invest into that ozymandias this time i actually found the relic okay that's uh that's sage on yeah. Uh, on uh, Istanbul, we do have a uh, scout coming up in one. Looks like uh, he does have his 2-2 base. Uh, Going to be close to his ally. And uh, that could also allow them to uh, trade coastally over here. Even uh, w uh, through the lake. Uh, wh what do you think is best here? Uh, Sejong staying off the coast and maybe putting a city on the T-tile. Uh, uh, to couple with a possible Roman settle over there on the coast. So if they can get going. Is that going to be enough uh, extra income for those trade routes? Well, three lake ties don't do that much, but uh, yeah. 
Yeah, it it really remains to be seen what they dis like even if there's priority on trading like this because in Korea's position he might very well just uh, try to uh, set up a uh, uh, watcher push into Age of Steam or something like that. Wait, wait, wait! This is Ottomans. Uh, oh, uh, I confused the Ottomans with Korea, right? Yeah, yeah, no problem, no problem. <laughs> Uh, yeah. yeah, well, in this case, obviously, trading opportunities a lot more uh, more valuable. Yeah. Yeah. So I would assume he settles postal at some point. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm thinking the same. I'm thinking the same. I'm not sure exactly how he's gonna set them up, but I'm thinking he's uh, gonna try to get some advantages from being close to the coast. Uh, Age of Steam might actually throw a wrench in their plans. Is relatively close to uh, Ottomans here, and uh, we're going to, need to see how uh, Suvorov and uh, Rome will deal with him. Uh, in Istanbul, we do have forces in the third ring. Uh, in the second ring, I do see uh, Iron on the west side. The third ring out, and of course uh, Mount Vesuvius over here. This is one of the <laughs> weakest Mount Vesuvius that I've. Ever but see, man, it's not even water to get those extra points in. Nothing. It's nothing. It's just mountains. It is what it is, man. Uh, Age of Steam, uh, CC Pyro will have a lot of coast to actually settle to the east side. The connections to uh, Aztec over here on the coast, which is going to generate that goal for them. Uh, he's already uh, buying out the horse tiles on the west side so he can get the extra production in. Uh, that's what uh, Age of Steam does. Um, he gets an extra point of production on these um, strategic resources. Uh, he does have uh, iron and the horses in the capital. And as you can see, the iron is a bit further away than ideal, but it's fine. Uh, we do have him... Uh, I, I I gotta say this are, uh, this is not an amazing coast to work and we're going to need to see how much he's going to need to invest into this uh, to actually get going uh, looks like uh, both him and the uh, ottomans are going to have an encounter here in gazargamo they don't see each other yet they, they don't see each other cc no oh, maybe maybe uh, ottomans did see I don't know. I don't think so. I, yeah, I don't think they actually saw each other. And we're going to need to see if Ottomans is going to declare war to uh, snatch that uh, builder. No. I guess the builder just said, you know what? I'm going to build a farm. You're not going to catch me. It is what it is. Uh, Montezuma, this time uh, is off the coast. We do have him uh, with uh, one big continent. Uh, even though uh, there is a continent split on the west side, that's a bit further away uh, than ideal to get going. Uh, he does have a coastal settle to the west on the honey tile, uh, on the coffee tile, I mean, and uh, he does have a few tutus uh, to improve there. Uh, fresh water from uh, the river, both strategic resources in his capital, and I do uh, notice he's uh, gonna have a city state to bully Anshan, or actually two city states to bully. He's already on the way to. Uh, Johannesburg to actually bully that city state into giving him uh, set, um, how to say uh, builders uh, getting a settler <laughs> out in <laughs> give me builders yeah. yeah yeah I mean that's that's what he's doing right <laughs> Uh, no, no. Uh, we do have uh, Tenochtitlan actually uh, popping out the settler next turn, and he does have the opportunity to actually settle to the south here. I think that's a bit better than the coffee. I mean, I guess that's debatable. You value the extra uh, faith that you're gonna get from the dice tile and the coffee tile more than you value the production. Uh, okay, debatable. Uh, to the north, he's gonna have so much land to uh, discover here until he's uh, gonna get closer to Hungary. And uh, as you can see, both of them are actually gonna get to uh, put their cities here between the mountains. Uh, they have uh, ooh, okay. they have another teammate uh, to the east, Greece, and it looks like they're actually gonna get to bully Sejong. Wow. Uh, Buddha with uh, Sparta will get to bully Sejong. Ozymandias here is the one that uh, got the... Uh, now to say the short stick over here and we're going to need to see if um, Hungary is going to manage to push through the defenses of the Korean Empire or Korea is just going to seem ahead of everybody this is uh, going to be dangerous uh, we do have uh, Buddha with um, three two three one bananas with a one the three uh forest over there to the north and i do see he has a uh, good river set cities on uh, geothermals and uh, yes ex uh, hello there and sasu hello there sir uh well, let's see i mean you need, uh, let me see what a terrible i love that Vesuvius is looking so sad yes yes indeed it is now uh, basil uh, off in a corner with a big chunk of the map to himself uh again yeah, again, actually, whoa. But this time, no, it's not only to himself. This time, he's actually going to get to fight somebody. Greece, Fizzle Poison over here. Uh, did meet uh, Byzantium to his east side. And yeah, at least at least this time he has an enemy. 
Yeah, we do have uh, kid moving to the north. Uh, I do also notice his uh, strategic resources. Uh, his uh, how to say his horses are going to be a bit uh, too expensive. While his iron is going to be uh, two tiles out, he's going to the north to settle a city on a two-two base, uh, possibly benefiting from a very good. Uh, uh, very good campuses and I gotta say the city of Buddha has five tiles that you will get the Pearl of the Danube bonus unfortunately two of them are actually blocked by uh, strategic resources but if he doesn't discover them it's fine right? you can still put districts on them before you discover them yeah, yeah. also you usually just really need to you want to have a campus a commercial and the Gov plaza everything else doesn't really matter yeah true true Gov plaza are very important very important. Uh, we do see uh, Fizzle Poinzon is trying to stop Korea from settling towards him. Uh, we do have already a Pantheon, Stone Circles. A war has been declared to push out uh, the scout of uh, Greece. And it looks like uh, Ozymandias is uh, getting a few more slingers out to help him uh, fight this menace. Now we do have uh, Ozymandias also improving one of his uh, marble tiles. Uh, going stone circles does uh, give him an extra point of production and faith there on those improved quarries. And a pretty good city to the west. And I'm actually a bit surprised he didn't choose to go west instead of south with his uh, settler. Uh, would have had uh, quite a few tools, fresh water, hills uh, to put his cell on. I guess this is a... No, this is not better in hill. Uh, hill wise this is not better to the west side um i gotta admit i was talking a little bit with uh, uh justice earlier and we were thinking okay how much we should go into the details of uh, the tempo of the players set by their initial settles should we ask the viewers this I guess we can ask the viewers this. How much into detail do you think we should go into uh, explaining what happens um, when you settle your B2, your second city, third city in different positions and um, what will be the impact in the game? Uh, explain. Okay, there we go. Justice? <laughs> there we go. The microphone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, let's let's finish up uh, the full round on uh, Gogo and Brazil spawn first, though. Okay, okay. Uh, Greece, we do have uh, Sparta coming up with uh, bananas over here. One, three, uh, deer tiles improved. I do see Ephesus did get settled in the south. And uh, D zero just followed. Oh, bug! Uh, thank you so much for uh, the follow, sir. Uh, we do have uh, another center coming up uh, in uh, three turns from him. Uh, has horses in the second city and iron over there. Pretty easy to um, exp uh, acquire and uh, improve a few mountains for his uh, districts on the west side, his campuses, and a decent amount of fresh water over here he does uh, get bullied by uh, Mikhail to the from the east side the Byzantium is trying to push in and uh, get some experience points attacking into his scouts uh, we do need to see if uh, Byzantium is um, gonna manage to get a few snatches uh, from Greece uh, maybe a pillage maybe a builder uh, we don't know maybe a settler I hope not but it is a possibility Etem and Anki got placed in the Festo uh, city in the south and uh, moving forward we do have uh, one more to look at uh, Thessalonica did get placed next to Tsingi de Bemaraha benefiting from an extra point of uh, culture and the uh, science on all of these tiles uh, adjacent to the wonder and we do have a copper tile that's actually amazing a 2 2 1 2 with two extra culture points and the one extra science uh, he's getting his holy site over there to the northeast and of course um, uh, he's, uh, he did settle a holy site and finished it in the city of Constantinople his capital I'd also notice he got a builder out uh, before he got his uh, third settler and uh, I do notice he's gonna get these uh, sheep tiles improved for the extra production giving him a little bit of uh, tempo he does need to fix the food somehow in the city to grow faster and I'm pretty sure he's gonna go sailing to improve the fish tiles um, doesn't actually have uh, coastal trade routes yet but uh, maybe no maybe Kaguana is gonna give him some we'll see we'll see if he's uh, gonna choose to go that way yeah, Basil is not very known for his uh, commercial abilities anyway yeah, so yeah true if, if at all he might uh, put out some harbors on Katakofi timing and trade with Rome but yeah. Uh, okay, Heinig Dave is also saying that there are a lot of new Civ players that would like to know why players are doing what they're doing and not all of us are pro players. Yeah, okay, for sure, for sure. Okay, lo let, let's uh, talk a little bit about their uh, positioning over here. Should we go uh, one round between them, uh, like for each of them, to say a few words uh, why they did what they did? 
Uh, yeah, Worm is a pretty obvious one, like he probably quickly realized just from map positioning his purpose here is uh, just gonna to provide gold, so he, he's just gonna settle coastal a lot and trade with Ottoman and that's really his main purpose other than uh, keep simming for late game. Uh, so really not much add to do there, Worm is just playing the FFA, <laughs> no, no interaction. Yeah, so um, just to translate a little bit in uh, technical details, he wants to get the fast, uh, as soon as possible cities in uh, as close as much of, as a position and a good position to his capital city. So he's um, a round trip to the city, uh, to the next uh, city, next settle is not going to be that long. Uh, so he can benefit from uh, as quick as much uh, as possible production and food generation into his uh, city centers, which allows him to get the districts going, which allows him to uh, get more uh, stats up. Now, I, one more point I want to make, he is going to war England at some point. They, I don't think they fully know about this. Uh, looking at the vision over here, Suvoro did not scout uh, the south of Engazargamo, where that one choke is and cc pyro should know yes he knows there is a way out of this uh, sea uh, he's scouting all of the coast and he is gonna figure out uh, he can actually get some boats out against his opponent okay on uh Sejo, suborov on uh, sorry uh ottoman on Sejo. Yeah, Mutation obviously also will be well known for his commercial ability, so like I think he's happy enough with Age of Steam as a neighbor. Mm -hmm. uh, they will probably just sim along each other, uh, because both just the both Sifs just want to sim up. Maybe they will send like a couple of horses against yeah. be a bit annoying. Uh, but other than this, I feel like the east part of the map is going to be pretty silent for the longest time. <laughs> uh, yes, but why did he settle where he settled right now? So he got his initial city, Istanbul, and then the first city he placed was on Halep, was on the northwest. Mm, well, first off, uh, this seems to be like, what is it, a jade settle or what's the culture there? Uh, I think so, yes. Well, let's see. It's an extra culture point, that's... Uh... So an extra amenity and extra culture point. Uh, from I just want to pad. see with silk. Yeah, okay. So there was wood, wood, which makes it one turn slower. So this was a settle on five. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, like the, the main thing you're really looking for in your first two expands, like pretty much everyone opens up like um, a scout or two into double settler. Yeah. Um, because want to get your first uh, two expands down as fast as you can and what you're looking for is really in the first place just tile yields and also it's extremely preferable to to get a lux uh, in your first two settles yeah um, because yeah. if you don't you're gonna struggle on on three pop yeah and yeah. you're gonna suffer for minus amenities so yeah. the extra culture okay. bonus is also an added benefit here in this particular lo location uh, early culture is very valuable for pretty much every playstyle you can ever have. Uh, early culture is pretty much the most valuable thing you can have. It just gives you a, a, a faster fuel if you're just playing FFA and simming. It gives you faster civil if you want to try to attack someone. Also, obviously, getting faster political, which can snowball, etc. etc. Early yeah. culture is just the most valuable thing you can look out for. Yeah. Yeah. No, all of the civics, uh, all of the cards that you get to use throughout the game do depend on this and uh, getting to them faster is uh, quite valuable. Uh, we do have a fourth settler actually put in from Istanbul in the production queues. Uh, fifth one coming up from Halep. Looks like he did move on a 2-2 base, which is a bit surprising me uh, because uh, I would have thought he would leave open the T-tile to the west side. This was one of the question marks we had, how they're going to try to set up these um, uh, trade routes between him and Rome it's it's a hundred percent gonna happen like we're gonna see some trade routes here I don't know how and uh, exactly their setup but this is gonna happen now uh, moving forward towards England uh, this is kind of easy to explain he just went mid distance uh, from uh, his capital city got the series as uh, soon as possible and uh, put some gold in uh, where he could so he could get his um, 
Your production capability is up. He did also choose God of the Sea and he's going to start improving those tiles. Uh, has uh, four crab tiles to use in Primoth with uh, one, two fish tiles in the capital. Uh, looks like uh, one fish and uh, one whale tile in the city of Bristol. While he is going to get a, uh, at least uh, one more city to the northeast uh, to settle towards um, Aztec. Uh, and he has uh, a few more cities to place on the west side that would put him uh, across that choke point in the uh, south and, uh, of course, uh, much closer to uh, the Roman cities. Now, we do have him with a few inner cities, and unfortunately, this is uh, going to cause a few issues. Uh, no Royal Navy dockyards over there, and we're going to see how England is uh, going to try to use uh, them. I'm thinking maybe he's just going to go uh, uh, campuses in those cities in the north. Uh, Aztec, let's see. Tenochtitlan. Okay, okay. So he did... Wait, uh, Teotihuacan was V2... Yeah, he was. He's uh, two turns over here. So it looks like he did favor the production over the culture. And he did place uh, his city, Tlacopan, actually uh, on the river, not on the coast, on the coffee tile. Uh, this is uh, going to give him a bit of extra food from uh, cattle tile, giving him uh, the three one allowing him the city to grow a little bit faster and uh, as you can see he's uh, favoring the food actually in his uh, city centers quite a bit now i'm a bit surprised that he didn't actually go for the coffee to get that extra amenity going uh, which uh, will require a builder to actually improve that resource and of course he would have gotten the dice tile um to work at, in the same city now the my reasoning is he's not going to get to, um, he, uh, if he would have gotten there on the dice tile, on the coffee tile and benefited from the dice, he would have not gotten to work the uh, plus one gold, plus one faith uh, card, which would have given him extra points of uh, one extra point of production in all of his uh, series, which does translate for 12 turns in which you need to work uh, the card in like what, 24 production for two series, uh, 36 for three series. That's quite a bit of production. That's uh, basically what an extra builder that you can get. So I mean, how much is a builder in terms of production early on? Uh, not warrior, builder. Uh, oh, went too far. It's uh, 50 production. This is on uh, standard speed, so 25 production. That's more than a builder and that you can get in those 12 turns uh, because you uh, don't need to work that God King card. Uh, on this side, where he did settle Tracopan, yes, he's going to get uh, more population, uh, but unfortunately, I don't think that's actually going to be uh, on the same return on investment. Uh, he might be looking to put his cities, and this is also a balancing effort that the players do uh, try to do, um, you know, getting into the land, uh, trying to get the balance between how many cities uh, you can fit and how many good cities you can fit. Uh, there are, uh, some players will want to stay on, uh, for example, on a land of uh, eight cities. They're going to want to stay on six just because those six will be very high in population and they will get... Um, uh, to use more tiles uh, versus eight that will have less population levels and uh, less tiles to work per each of them. If you do place the cities uh, mean distance from each other, uh, at some point at what, uh, maybe 12 population, you're just not going to get uh, tiles to work anymore. You, you just don't have them. You need to split them up uh, between cities. Uh, it's also possible yes. that he just wants to leave room for uh, Vicky to settle over there. Yes, yes, that, that's also a possibility. So we'll see, we'll see how they settle. No, wouldn't make sense. They cannot be fit in the Uh, yeah. And yeah, actually, maybe, but it's unlikely because they will be very late. But uh... yeah, uh, yeah, that I had this thought also. I did think of this also. Uh, okay, on uh, Hungary, uh, we do have him uh, getting his uh, commercials down. Uh, this is the basic uh, strategy that Hungary likes to play with, uh, getting those uh, commercials out uh, quickly, getting the golden. And uh, we do see traders already started to uh, build up the roads uh, between his other cities. Uh, we're probably going to see Magnus internals here from the city of Buda. Uh, even though he does have uh, trade route quote-unquote possibilities with uh, Greece over here, it's probably going to be late in the game that he's going to benefit from. Um, on the eastern side, Estergon did get placed on um, a geothermal fissure. Uh, usually you do want to, if you can, you, you do want to actually settle the geothermals because uh, you don't want to work them. Uh, so uh, benefiting from an extra um, uh, science point over there, it's uh, just uh, easy peasy to get. Also, one of the things that Hungary takes into account is his Pearl of the Danube bonus. If he can settle his cities uh, to have more... Uh, 
uh, tiles across the river, uh, he's uh, gonna try to prioritize that, or at least higher priority than other civilizations. So both in Seged you, you see this uh, happening, and in uh, Estergom, not to mention uh, the city, uh, the capital city of Buda. Uh, I'm a, a bit surprised about his choice to go over here in Seget to go one more tile, uh, one more turn, uh, instead of uh, sitting on that 2-2. Two -two. But I guess it's fine. He got closer to a sheep tile. That's really just for the bonus. Like, as you can see, yeah, he, yeah. And he has a easy time. Like Generally speaking, as Angui, you are very happy if you can fit a commercial on the campus. Uh, yeah. Even next to a mountain. Like it, in, in, in terms of Angui bonus, these are excellent settled. Yes, I I agree. I agree. So uh, I I think like like you said that extra turn was made because of the bonus. It was uh, was only made because of the bonus. Um, we do have him uh, quite close to uh, Korea, and uh, somebody's gonna need to put a city over there to the north. Uh, he can actually use the one one tile to um, get some adjacency or even the cattle tile to the east side. Another thing that um, a, l a lot of the times the players do take into account is the river defense. Uh, it's uh, just much better to settle on your side of the river uh, to. Uh, force your opponent to attack you across the river uh, so uh, they do get an extra uh, so you do get an extra plus five um, on the defense on the city center on, on the units uh, defending now um, it's not always something that can be done but uh, players are looking uh, to do that now we do have uh, Korea already coming up with his uh, seons uh, uh, stone circles is starting to add him a little bit of production and this is um, um, I, I guess the initial uh, um, one that started the idea of uh, we talking about this. Uh, Korea did choose to go to the south with Jinju. Uh, Jinju didn't have any 2-2s two around him. He did have 3-1 uh, honey tile. And yes, he did have a marble tile on the east side that could have given him a few more bonuses, but that would have required the builder to improve. On the west side, though, not only that he also had a stone tile, if he settled the coast min distance, uh, he would have had a, I would say a faster time to get there. Uh, multiple uh, deer tiles, uh, two around the, that city and a decent amount of food from um, the tiles around it so this was what i was um um how to say i had a question mark about because i thought the western settle and I still think actually the Western Settle would have given him a little bit faster tempo, uh, more production coming and more food coming out of for Gangnung versus the Southern Settle. Now, if he uh, settled this city in the south for uh, positioning, for example, on Greece, it kind of makes sense as in he wanted to get here as soon as possible to close the choke and get a defensive position going uh, while uh, he's going to need to get... Um, there we go. He's getting encampment uh, in, in the face of his opponent, and he's gonna need to use this city first of all, finish up the monument, finish up the seven, finish up uh, what he needs, uh, so he can start building armies. So that might actually have been uh, going through his thought process. Uh, so he uh, prioritized the city in the south instead of the one on the west. Uh, hello there, Big Z. Uh, good morning, sir. Uh, ben, hello there, sir. How are you doing, man? Uh, also, Mandokar, Korea will have the hardest game, I think, if he is not prepared for Hungary attacking him. Yeah, he will not have an easy time. Also, Singapore can be um, recruited here, can be levied by uh, Hungary to get a push going against uh, Korea. Uh, will not be easy. Two nations, two powerful ones coming against them. Honestly, I think uh, the other guys need to be afraid. Like a proper <laughs> Havad, uh, a, a proper Havacha push is uh, still one of the uh, scariest EU pushes in the game. Uh, if, yep. if the guy really knows how to execute on it, it's really scary for anyone. Yeah, so uh, we do have a question over here from Osdemir Burke about bronze working. You don't get the boost for bronze working. You do need to kill three barbarians. We don't have barbarians in the game. And uh, I think it was discussed at some point to change that bonus, but uh, nobody did it. As in change that the prerequisites uh, to have that bonus. Uh, nobody did it in the meantime. So... Uh, Usually, what happens in teamers is uh, one of your team, uh, one of your teammates will try to get there, and then it will give the boost to everybody else because that's what happens in a team environment. Uh, whenever somebody finishes a technology or a civic, and somebody else didn't, they will give the boost to that uh, other somebody, and uh, you you will see this uh, during the game. Uh, there will be uh, players that will actually 
move off a civic or a technology before they finish it but they know they uh, just the bonus is uh, missing just the boost is missing from uh, finishing that te technology or civic and uh, let their allies actually boost them on towards that because that's uh, actually quite a bit of uh, an advantage yeah this is one of the main ways uh, you can actually help out your frontliner in trouble like yeah. not just give him the gold but you can also boost certain technologies for him so he has an easier time because generally king the frontliner has to spend his production uh, yeah. to build units and uh, so naturally he will have uh, lower stats uh, than the simming guy so if you can boost stuff for your frontliner it's very beneficial on teamers yes yes Plus plus. Uh, Greece did choose to go Lady of the Reeds and Marshes. Looks like he's uh, also choosing to uh, get uh, Temple of Artemis built. This is quite expensive for him. Uh, Fizzle Ponzon, Nato, oh my god, two wonders. Etemenanki and the uh, Temple of Artemis coming up from his series. And uh, he's uh, pulling series in the front of uh, Korea over here. He's probably thinking Korea is not uh, going to attack him early. And that's actually true. Uh, we don't have an attack early for him. This is a lot of production spent by uh, Greece into these tiles. He, it looks like he's did also benefit from uh, two amber tiles from the beginning getting him that extra uh, culture i do notice uh, temple of artemis is going to give him one two three four uh, five six six that's it six oh no seven seven amenities uh, that's pretty good actually that, that is pretty good uh, oh eight one two three four yeah eight amenities uh well uh, i guess if he's ever gonna city, uh, put a city over here to the northwest that's only one city by the way he can only put it here there's no other possibility because they they closed up the possibilities of getting uh, cities there and that's very dangerous in front of uh, korea like that to put a city because those hawachas <laughs> they're famous for pushing through the city centers yeah tanhouse here is calling out for city state overview which i kind of agree with okay okay uh, we got some time. Barak uh, actually has uh, an urgent thing to do. Man, you know, this is why I say you got to have a bucket, man. You know, when, when you need to, you got to have a bucket. Best, best, best South Park impression. Huh? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it is, you know, emergency, emergency. Uh, okay, uh, we got Anshan with Fez and uh, Geneva uh, coming up for uh, scientific bonuses. Uh, looks like Anshan is going to be west side uh, next to Aztec. Uh, Aztec is still... Uh, oh, he did actually take over Johannesburg. And I think he got a builder. I'm not convinced, but he might have gotten a builder from that uh, city center. Uh, Fez is over here to the south of uh, Byzantium, which actually might be a pocket. Yeah, we'll see when it is going to be levied. And Geneva, actually. Okay. Geneva gonna be closed. I think Geneva is gonna die. Not gonna lie. Uh, that, that city state uh, looks uh, in a dangerous position being next to uh, Byzantium like that. Uh, and Gazagamu Lahore will be the ones providing the military bonuses. Uh, we do have Mogadishu as the only one for trade. Uh, I do also notice uh, Singapore with Buenos Aires coming up from industry for industry. Buenos Aires, pretty good city state. Uh, Singapore. Uh, 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 uh. We'll see. We'll see if uh, this is uh, this is uh, gonna be good. Plus, wait, plus six production. If it has both a chancery and a power plant, okay. Oh, never mind. That's actually the other bonus. I was reading something else. Um, your cities receive plus two production for each foreign trade civilization. Uh, they have a trade route two. Eh, eh, eh. Not not really that good, is it? Well, honestly, it's uh, quite something. Uh, yeah, yeah. Pretty much uh, assuming you trade only every city just gonna have plus two production on trade, or that's good enough. Yeah, I guess that uh, on an average of uh, 20 production city, that's uh, an extra 10% that you can get. Not bad. Now we do have uh, Namadol with uh, Kiaguana also in the game. Namadol being uh, relatively close to Rome over here, and uh, it looks like at the moment is. Uh, Su not Suze, not Suze, sorry, not Suze by anybody. Uh, we do have Ozymandias actually getting uh, one envoy in there, and the, probably from a mission, we're going to need to see if he's uh, going to manage to plug in our money. At the moment, he's uh, more uh, concerned about getting his uh, cities out, and as you can see, he's uh, starting to build up his bonuses using his government plaza to beef up, uh, beef up a harbor bonus, and uh, he's getting his uh, coastals uh, improved. God of Open Sky chosen by him as a pantheon, one, two, three, four, five extra culture 
already a possible 6 and a 7 here and uh, we do have him actually uh, following up with the city to the south no to the east east uh -huh. so what doing ancestral there uh, no, audience. Oh, no, it's audience. audience. Okay, yes, he's going okay. audience. I think he's worried about the amount of cities that he's gonna get to place, especially since uh, Ottomans uh, did put a city right in his face. <laughs> I know the allies, but yeah, it looks like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Over no, here. yeah, I was, I was just wondering about it because I figured uh, ancestral is an very fast audience, so I don't yeah. know about that. We may uh, as well just have a couple yeah. more settlers first. But. I guess, I guess. Uh, we got a question here. Heinig Dave is asking us, what do we mean by pocket city state? Pocket city state is basically a city state that only one team has discovered and they're not going to sue it so they don't reveal it to their opponent. So they do benefit from one envoy, two envoys maybe in that city center, but they need to be careful not to reveal it or if they reveal it, they, they need to have enough envoys to keep it for the remainder of the game. Having uh, the extra bonuses that you get from a city state, for example, as a science city state, uh, you, you do get... Um, yeah, quite a few advantages uh, talking about the extra science uh, for each uh, for the city center and uh, for uh, each library i believe you get right on the first level yeah you do yeah get... just uh, plus one for library if you put a envoy in yeah. and this is a special to teamless environment player may not be too used to it but like in in teamless if you see the city state the city state will immediately declare on on the opponent team so it will always be shown and and therefore it can be contested so having a pocket city state uh, just means you never sue it and just enjoy the plus one for library silently without ever soothing it so this is an obvious advantage you can have without the enemy team being able to contest yeah we've seen this happen yesterday right, with um uh one team benefiting from that uh, GBL right did benefit from a pocket city state which was never discovered by their opponents even until the end of the game it wasn't discovered uh, they uh, they loaded into the map afterwards and they did see that extra city but it didn't I guess it didn't matter in the outcome but they would have been much uh, worse off if they didn't have that uh, city state as a pocket in terms of science uh, one last city state to talk about it's uh, Yerevan. Yerevan is going to be the only one uh, providing some faith benefits and uh, I guess we do have one single uh, faith saves here, Byzantium uh, he did get a religion uh, Su, I love you, it means uh, okay, uh, Byzantium over here sacred path as a pantheon uh, getting the extra lay. sorry feed and uh, lay, yes feed the world with lay ministry yeah, was but just talking to myself here because this is obviously pretty unusual for Byzantium. Mm, I mean, I guess I don't hate it, uh, but this obviously indicates that he actually wants to sim up uh, quite a bit before pushing anyone. Yeah, well, it, it looks like uh, he will have a decent amount of land to settle, to be honest. And he's not going to be scared of putting cities on the coast. Doesn't look like this is going to go coastal anytime soon. Uh, there could be a timing uh, done against uh, Greece over here. And we do need to see if uh, the investment that Fizzle Poison is doing in his cities is actually going to give him a good uh, boost in his tempo uh, from the Temple of Artemis and the uh, Etemenanki. I think actually these are good bonuses on his side. Uh, 15 science already, 8 culture. He's going to get uh, a decent amount of uh, population in the city of uh, Sparta to put out more districts and uh, yet he did not have uh, enough production at the moment or time to put his uh, Gavron Plaza down and uh, get a specializing building of choice. Now four cities is uh, gonna get some builders out and uh, we do have the players one turn away uh, from uh, getting the golden age benefits. We're going to need to see how they're gonna try to use that. I, honestly at this point I'm more worried about CC Pyro than I'm worried about uh, Sejong. Mm, yeah, it's only a mutation. It's only mutation. just wants to sim along. Uh, excuse me? It's only mutation. Yeah, yeah, I guess, I guess, but he's, uh, I don't know, man, whenever I see a uh, land sieve next to a um, uh, coastal sieve, I get worried. Maybe that's just me. Mm. 
Well, honestly, Mutashem doesn't have any war bonuses and is obviously inclined to sim up for his team because uh, Kuhir will eat a lot of gold and someone needs to provide it, right? Yeah. So yeah, like to put a bit, to put it into perspective, like uh, just in terms of our bonuses, they may as well just be Dido next to him on the different seas. It's, this is as dangerous as Mutashem would be. Okay. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's see how uh, the things will evolve over here. Uh, I do see Aztec did manage to get his uh, fifth and six settles out. Seventh one uh, coming up from Teotihuacan. Uh, he's gonna be the um, one with the most cities uh, pretty quickly over here. The fact that he did manage to take out Johannesburg with uh, just his Eagle Warriors uh, gives him a good return on that investment at the beginning. Uh, there's another possible city to settle in the south, but honestly, the, these tiles are just not oh, well, that big, even, not worth. Uh, even Johannesburg uh, has similar tiles. I mean, uh, it's still yeah. a free city state, and a uh, fast kill is always a free city, so you take it. But, uh, hey, uh, at least he can build pyramids. You know, he's going to spend like 20 turns, but he's going to be pyramids. Yeah, I guess so. We do have him plugging Liang over there. And this is, uh, I guess, uh, another su surprise that I have. What do you think he wants to do with Liang? Or is it just because he wanted to get the uh, uh, governor and that's it? Looks like Odin Shimba is uh, getting plugged in Tenochtitlan. He's going to use uh, the governors for the extra food, extra amenities and housing. And that's about it. Okay, uh, Magnus establishing Tlacopan. I'm pretty sure we're not going to see internals here. Um, but I might actually have a problem with production. Where is he now? He's on 46 production. Actually, he's the most productive because most cities. And uh, you, you can see uh, how much it matters actually to have uh, the most cities at uh, the beginning of the game uh, versus somebody that doesn't have uh, the same amount. Uh, for example, CC Pyro only on three cities, only 29 production. He does have the stats though, 19 and 18. And they did go into a um, golden age here so i'm pretty sure that's actually free inquiry coming up is that uh what? yeah why would oh. he ever go free ink and he got namadol wait namadol might die I, I guess it is what it is anyway uh quick bounce around to see the pantheon scar of open sky on uh, rome we do have ottomans on god of war and plunder uh god of the sea here on uh, england uh, age of steam uh, we do have uh, city patreon goddess for aztec and he's putting down commercials uh hungary did not go for uh, pantheon yet stone circles uh, coming up from ozymandias getting his uh, horses out i don't know this uh, lady of the ridge and marshes got picked up by greece as he is benefiting from uh, now those wonders look how fast sparta is growing very very quickly now with with, um, the activation of the Temple of Artemis bonuses. Yeah, we'll only do... sweep up though. So yeah, yeah, like yeah. Every city yeah. goes fast on sweep up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he, he was taking like four turns to grow to a four pop or before Temple of Artemis or five turns. Anyway, we'll, we'll see. We'll see when he gets to the next turn. And uh, Byzantium here uh, did go for Sacred Path as a Pantheon to get more bonuses towards his um, uh, holy sites. He's actually a decent faith decent faith 28 faith not a, not big but decent uh ozymandias with uh, korea did go for a pen bash and voice uh, golden he's still on three cities this is a bit uh underwhelming he's getting his fourth soon a fifth one coming up from jinju uh horses uh, coming up from seoul i do have to say he did improve a lot of his styles and uh, this is uh, kind of what the um, uh, korea usually does uh getting those ones and then uh, improving as much as possible those minds around him he's uh, also making four great general points Oh, oh, he got two encampments and he's probably working the card as well. Okay, so he's going to be fast on that. Uh, Hypatia is going to be picked up uh, right now. Uh, that's the first... Um, there we go. Uh, scientist. And Ozymatius is going to benefit from a free library and the plus one on each of his libraries. Um, we do have um, Mikhail on uh, 16 science with 14 culture, uh, 32 faith, uh, 1, 2, 3 series at the moment, getting his uh, fourth one in the front line here. He's actually going to put it right in the face of Greece. He did not need to walk quite a bit. I think that's actually coming from Constantinople, so that was quite a bit of a trek for him. He's still got a CS on and Sorry? Uh, look up in the north on the coast. Pope is oh, he did. He killed Kagwana. He, he oh. killed Kagwana with galleys, yeah. Two, four. Okay. Four uh, series at the moment. And he can keep on uh, seeming on this coast. Uh, I, I guess we're going to need to see what he's going to do if uh, England shows up here. 
Suvorov uh, coming up with 10 signs and 19 culture. Pen Russian voice uh, choice for him. Four series. I don't see a fifth settler out. Uh, we do have him improving his um, resources, especially the uh, horses over here to get those strategics for his teammates. I do also notice his governor plots got placed in such a way that it will uh, give bonuses to districts from three possible cities, Halep, Edirin and uh, Istanbul. Uh, we do have uh, Rome, also with 10 science and 20 culture. He is uh, finishing up his audience chamber, getting his harbors out. It's going to be quite important to see them uh, fighting for the admirals. And uh, England, as you can see, already has three, while Rome has one point of admiral. Um, the extra culture coming up not only from his free monuments but also from God of, uh, uh, God of Open Sky is going to be very valuable for Milantovic. He does need to fix his science somehow, and we will probably see uh, some. Oh wait, oh that's that's such a big sacrifice. I I don't know if I can agree with this. Such a big sacrifice. Four, pop I guess he wants to chop it. One, two, three, four, five chops available for him. But oh my God, that is, I, I'm sorry. This is such a big sacrifice. Entertainment complex. We're going to come back to this, but no, oh, man. Yeah, I don't like it either. Um, I mean, Colosseum is obviously a very good wonder, but I think this is really an overcommitment. Yeah. Wait. Oh, he can put it on the uranium tile. Okay. He yeah. can put it there. Yeah, also... By the way, I, I I don't really like the Korea settlers. Settlers or Korea settle? Uh, well, he has another queue. Like, and okay. gen yeah. generally, I feel like um, like playing all school Korea, quote unquote, here. Yeah. Uh, just like uh, do a four city opening and go for brutal harbinger timing. Like, uh, back in the day, uh, it used to be like around turn uh, forty six ish. Mm -hmm. uh, you you can have like uh, six to eight avachas uh, with a general, mm -hmm. and uh, just go for Greece, uh, who will net for low science and nothing to answer. I think he could mm -hmm. have uh, made a huge impact here, maybe even full Kogogo, uh, if he uh, if if he really committed to a timing like this. Uh, but uh, obviously, the yeah, with, mm -hmm. uh... Not even Takmas needed, maybe just some uh, horses for flanking or something like that, but uh, yeah. Okay. Like, uh, I, I feel like this is a, like, uh, but obviously the sacrifice you have to make is you, you can only go like four cities with, uh, when, when you want to go for a timing like this. And he already kind of surpassing it, so. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll see if uh, his moves over here are going to give him uh, what he needs. Um, we do have CC Pyro on the other side, 18 science with uh, 16 culture, 36 uh, gold in the bank, 24 per 10, CC Pyro, good economy. Uh, still on three series though, and uh, it looks like he's getting his fourth and fifth out, so he is going to start expanding. Uh, can put a city on the silver tile to the west side, which is uh, going to give him uh, the extra gold and the extra amenity. Uh, now, he doesn't have a very good harbor there, but I'm pretty sure um, uh, Ottomans will figure out there is a possibility over here for those boats of uh, England to pass through and the boats of Rome to pass back. Uh, so we'll see uh, how Rome will react to this. Uh, th this, uh, what he's doing right now with the entertainment complex is uh, going to be quite a bit of a uh, slowdown in his empire. We've seen this before, four city opening with Rome, and I, we didn't see an explosion afterwards with the Colosseum. Well, anyway, uh, we do have Fils Le Poisson, also 17 science with 22 culture on Gorgo. Uh, four cities over here, very good um, adjacent uh, Acropolis. Uh, we do have uh, four points over here for Sparta, another plus two over here in Ephesus. Uh, he's uh, putting one from Mycenae here in a position that he doesn't actually get. No, he do oh, he put it here. Okay, plus two over there, a plus uh, three campus over here to the southeast. And we do have uh, Greece also putting down an encampment. He's going to need to actually get some uh, projects in if he is uh, going to try to get one of those channels. While I'm pretty sure uh, Korea is going to get them very quickly. Uh, Barracks is also coming up from Korea. Interesting. He's, he's actually going... Oh my god. He's actually going to tap the city of Rhodes. And he's... Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's see how this uh, develops. I, I think Korea, if he had like two horses, he might have even just taken the city of Rhodes. But anyway, uh, you know, it, it's uh, easier for us to talk in hindsight about this.
Uh, we do have uh, Barak coming up with a pen brush and voice on uh, Montezuma. Uh, horse battle riding coming up in one and uh, two, four, six series already settled. The seventh one uh, going to see series spot. Uh, orange chamber to grow a little bit faster. And I do see he started improving his... Uh, uh, resources i do want to take a look at his damage at the moment he's he has plus two luxury attack bonus uh we do have him uh, getting his markets out for those uh trade routes even though he's not gonna have um uh, how to say uh internal trade routes i do believe he's probably gonna send some uh, externals over here to england i'm uh, a bit questioning myself when is he gonna do that i have a big question if is he just gonna ignore his uh, Magnus like internal benefits and he's gonna start uh, sending them for the extra gold or something else and we do have them across the port with uh, good gold generation on CPS uh, it looks like uh, Nath Hyena is struggling uh, with uh, both uh, Sejong and uh, Mikhail uh, very very low in the gold per turn 0 and 1 while uh, Suvorov is trying to uh, make up for it and Milantovic as well uh, okay, yeah, kid on uh, 22 science with 24 culture on Matthias Corvinus. He got those four cities out. It looks like uh, Korea is going to photo settle him heavily over here, and this might get uh, punished. Uh, we do have uh, horses coming out from Buda. I do see he did finish his uh, Warlord's throne. So, okay, there we go. Hunger is just embracing his uh, position here, and he's going to try to go against uh, Korea with uh, as many units as possible. We do have uh, Korea with uh, a horse also to the northwest of uh, Chanchun, one to the south of Chanchun. Uh, general for Hungary and this is something that is uh, gonna need to be revealed to us if uh, Jinju is uh, gonna benefit from the general or uh, Chonchon. Uh, west or East Korea doesn't have two generals even though wait didn't we see him make a lot of points where is his general did he actually what happened here didn't he read Kruta general no he didn't okay so he got the only general in the game is Hungary's okay I'm, uh, I guess uh, it didn't pass that much time since the last time we take a, took a look at that. Anyway, now we do have uh, Magnus Internals uh, chosen by Hungary. He has already one, two, three trade routes to work there. And I do see he's chopping out horses. Uh, Shekes Ferevar is also getting the benefits of uh, Governor Pingala. And oh my God, he's going to face palm himself. He just gave up on a plus five that wouldn't have given bonus. Oh, never mind. That's a plus five anyway. I totally missed the geothermal underneath it's fine yeah it's fine. and also he has the, the plus 50 yeah. percent uh, <laughs> yeah that's true that's true very good campus yeah uh ben C is saying that uh cps is pretty passive this will cost the game uh, yeah it looks like they they do prefer to uh, get settled down rather than uh, attack at the beginning uh, not be aggressive with uh, scouts not be aggressive with uh, some early units uh, we do need to see how Hungary is gonna try to get this going against uh, Korea but yeah I, I do have to agree if uh, Mokhtesham is uh, allowed to get big over here with Rome this is gonna be a problem oh and look at that Rome is gonna get this going so he chopped uh, two tiles and he has uh, three more tiles to go for he just finished Arena. He's going to put down Colosseum over here on the Uranium tile. He did improve another one of the ship tiles in the city of Antium. And uh, usually we do see Rome expanding very quickly. Uh, seven cities, eight cities, uh, Rome uh, before 1040 is not uh, unheard of. Uh, and this is why uh, we were saying that this is such a big sacrifice. Now that we got here, okay, let's, let's talk a, a little bit about the perks and uh, disadvantages of getting such a quick uh, Colosseum. Well, in the Timus environment, uh, the main purpose of really rushing for it is uh, just to have it slash deny the enemy team. Mm -hmm. mm, that being said, uh, I feel like, uh, especially in a position like his, where like he's full planes, so he doesn't go very fast, uh, and he only has like the four cities. Um, yeah. It's really bad, uh, because he cannot make, uh, make a lot of use uh, of these bonuses. Like, uh, I, generally, I do feel like, just go for the expansion, and uh, you may as well still try to go for a later Colosseum uh, on, on a freesome environment. Mm -hmm. um, but, like, yeah, as being said, I really feel like he was supposed to... before he committed to anything like that. I, I'm not 
convinced this is gonna be a free sim for him. As in, right now, it's relatively peaceful, but England is uh, gonna get his animals. England is gonna get boats out. England will uh, try to do something with his navy, and I'm really curious how uh, CC Pyro is uh, gonna try to play this out. I'm also a bit surprised about his position, his choice to go there on the 2-2 two -two forest. I guess it's a little bit better with the whale tiles, but man, he's, uh, he's blocking his himself a city there to the south. Yeah, him, him being coastal is definitely another point, a uh, very good point actually. Uh, like, he, he is not really even, he's not even really free sim. So, he may actually, uh, like, uh, if you think about it, if, if you spend all this production of Colosseum and the entertainment complex and the arena in, in settlers and our campuses, mm -hmm. to be competitive in both harbor points, uh, being able to pump out Mogales, etc., etc. I could, uh, I think, a long term, this would have been much more beneficial for him than uh, going for Colosseum. Yeah, well, um, we'll see if Either he's, uh, he's going to catch like up. It. He has a lot to catch up. Uh, but I, I gotta say, uh, we don't see a massive expansion here from England either. And uh, we might see some form of aggression from Ottomans on the land. So he's going to be forced to split his attention between the two sides. Uh, I was expecting him to go a few more cities here. Um, uh, I guess we're going to need to see what City Pyro's doing. Where is he going with this settler? Where is he, where is he going so uh, far? He, he wants to have the horse. <laughs> he wants to it's have the horse. Okay. Uh, not I mean, settle on it, but just buy it yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, and... next to it. Yeah, but come on. Well, I guess that will open up another silver city in the south, but that would be... Uh, anyway, it is what it is. We do have him with uh, possible two settles. He could have gotten uh, another two settles over here uh, in, in the inner city. It's not... Um, ideal but it could work uh, i do see him also putting down his uh, campuses and he is benefiting at the moment from 24 and 24 cc pyro is in a free inquiry gold and he's the only one in the game that did go for a free inquiry okay we got some attacks hungary is actually attacking uh, korea and uh, he's uh i don't know what happened to that horse <laughs> yeah one moved out one moved in i have no idea what happened to that horse uh, a bit of a strategic mistake over here uh, ozymandias did put the archer inside of the city instead of a strong unit usually the city center uh, defense well not usually all of the time the city center defense uh, does matter uh, does uh, rely on uh, the unit that is inside of it if you do have a strong unit like a classical unit or a medieval unit and so on it will get extra bonuses um, so uh, this city would have been like 36 instead of 26 they extra 10 uh, damage uh, would make the difference between uh, multiple hits and a few hits. I, I think the horse would need, what, uh, six hits with uh, hitting a city with a horse inside, while um, um, with 26, you only need, like, uh, four hits. Uh, well, is uh, England same continent as Ottomans? Uh, yeah, yeah, he is. But this is England Age of uh, Steam. Uh, it doesn't really uh, matter. It's not Age of Empire. Uh, we do have possible levies coming up from Singapore, and this is a question mark that another question mark that they have. Why is he not leaving the city state? Uh, Suvor of Hazard, that's why. He's checked this out. He's putting so much into this. Uh, four envoys in there, so he keeps the Suz away from uh, Hungary. H did Hungary get any city state? Did the uh, kid get any city state? No, not yet. Oh, yeah, he does have Yerevan. And he actually levied Yerevan and he's sending it to Kaguana. They they figured out the city state, the city that got taken over by uh, Byzantium here. And they know there are no defensive units, so he's uh, gonna try to make advantage, uh, take advantage of that. Yeah, we do have uh, also an in-camera training project coming up from Free Isla Plaza in Rhodes. I do see the audience chamber coming up in Sparta. Uh, I do also notice uh, Pingala getting over there in two turns in the city of Sparta. Uh, he's uh, starting to improve his uh, iron tiles, getting a few amphitheaters and uh, starting to acquire three great writer points a turn. In the merchant screen, and this is something that we didn't watch, uh, four great merchants for Hungary. We do have Ottomans on 9.2. And Aztec on 5.7. Oh, Ottomans did go for God of War and Plunder, right? Yes, he did. So he's getting an extra point for each of these uh, commercials into the merchants. Uh, getting audience chamber, uh, getting his fifth city out, uh, seventh city out as well. The sixth city is actually going, where is he going? This is going here on the tobacco tile. Uh, 
Okay, so if he puts it here, there can be a city here, and another tobacco, and another one over here somewhere on the next to the ship tile or something for Rome, so he can keep on the southern coastal, giving the inlands to Ottomans. Okay. I'm a bit surprised he didn't go uh, southeast, but now that I look at the land, I'm not that surprised anymore. Huh. Oh, seven settler also to the north, moving to the north. Uh, cattle settle, two to base, another two to sheep tile over there. Okay, not not impressive, but still can be worked. Uh, I think a big question we have is uh, what is Byzantium going to do here? Uh, he did manage to get Stonehenge, so that uh, actually allows him to uh, get one of these apostles to activate. Uh, you do see it's uh, just waiting over there to get his uh, belief going, which would allow him to get the Crusade belief, uh, since nobody else in the game did get the religion that's still available for him. Uh, we do have uh, Geneva also getting levied here. I do want to uh, remind that Hungary does get an extra envoy whenever he levies a city-state, so he is incentivized to just keep on levying uh, the cities uh, that he has envoy is in so he has uh, advantages uh, going forward i don't see city parks coming up from byzantium oh my god we haven't seen this in such a long time city park strategy coming up for uh, byzantium 32 mm. science 41 culture 78 production the most production in his team almost the most production in the game yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, city parks got kind of a double nerf. Like, Liang establishes one turn slower, and the gold has been removed. I think it was a bit overkill, but, like, if you can do it, I think you can do it in a mentality itself, so I don't mind it too much. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm not saying I mind it. I, I find it, it uh, surprising that he actually chose to go for this, but it looks like he did. And uh, I do see he's actually going for a few warriors here from Ancina and uh, Thessalonica uh, to probably prepare for uh, defense versus uh, the Levin units of Geneva. Uh, I also noticed Greece did manage to uh, deploy a few units to the north while he, uh, while his neighbor Hungary could not push through the defenses of Korea. Uh, that's where Korea deployed his um, general also in Chanchon and uh, at uh, the moment, he's, uh, I do see kid trying to fight Singapore. Okay, I mean, you know, it is what it is. He got a two chash builder uh, out of that war. It's still fine. We'll see if that actually will survive until he gets to the city of Sejet. Now, we do have Garner Victor also established in uh, Chanchon. Hungary doesn't look like he has enough uh, strength on these units to punch through. And again, the river defense is uh, making quite a bit of uh, an impact here. I'm very surprised that kid allowed the city of Chanchon to be placed. Uh, we, we actually pointed this out earlier uh, about the river defense and the positioning you could have gotten over there. Uh, I, I think it would have been very important for Hungary to get the city there and not Korea. Mm, yeah, I mean, this is a bit of, about being passive and what's or not what already been talked about, right? Like, stuff like this happens. Like, what, like, when when you talk about allowing, what needed to happen to not allow it is you need to have units there in the first place before Korea gets there, right? Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, but yeah, but now he's in his face and now he has to deal with it anyway, so yeah. Uh, this is uh, what passiveness gives you, I guess. Yeah, yeah true, true. I, I kind of understand why he placed the city to the south with uh, the easier commercial and uh, safer, of course, uh, plus five uh, campus over there. Is this going to give him a uh, chance? Or not? I don't know. Uh, Korea did notice the weakness of his opponent and uh, did try to capitalize on it. He did get Chanchon as a fortress right here, and he's still building up as a for building it up as a fortress. Benefits from a very good tiles to the northwest from that volcano. Look at that six three tile. Is that a six? Yeah, that is a six three tile over there. I mean, f six food and uh, three production. Yeah, mm, that's big. Uh, first units actually about to uh, reach the Byzantium city of Kaguana. That might be a uh, first victim of the game over here. We do have uh, two source one and uh, an archer uh, deployed uh, from the city of Yerevan to uh, go against uh, Kaguana. Uh, has there ever been a bet on who wins? Oh, no. oh my god, thank you for reminding me. I do need to get that going. Manage prediction, who will win? Let's uh, get this going. On one side, not Hyena. On the other side, we got uh, Shakun. Por Soa. Uh, for everybody, for anybody that doesn't know, Shakun Por Soa is uh, meaning 
uh, everybody for himself. Heck. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Hey, didn't know that. Yeah, there we go. Uh, let's see if that actually is uh, what's going to happen here. Uh, also, I do want to point some... Oh my god, Corey. Yeah. Another weakness that was uh, found in the defenses of... Um, uh, Hungary, and I do want to talk a little bit about this. Whenever you have a unit in an encampment, it uh, will, uh, whenever an attack is going to happen, the attack is going to be against the encampment, and if the encampment is going down, your unit, whatever the health will have, uh, it will go down as well with the encampment. So, as you can see, Ozymandias did notice uh, that's uh, one of the weak links in uh, the Hungarian defense, and uh, took out that encampment alongside uh, the horse. Uh, now, we do need to see if Hungary is going to get to a technology that allows him to get some edge here while i don't think he's gonna have enough uh, science i do want to double check this i was demanding is 54 science kid is on 39 we got uh, 31 culture on uh, ozymandias while the kid is on 28 but the gold generation is just so much better on uh, cps across the board I except fils le poison but it's fine he's gonna catch up at some point He's two training settlers here from Ephesus. He has a decent amount of land to go and uh, settle in the south. Let's see. One, two, three, four cities. Oh, I guess uh, he needs to stay away from the coast because uh, Byzantium. That's, uh, that's not going to be a good way. Oh, hello, Archer. I'm a bit surprised about the Archer's uh, movement here, but I guess he's keeping the swordsman for some last moves. Uh, is it too late for me to hump on uh, Discord too? No, it's not. Uh, where are you on Discord? Senor Testa, where are you on Discord? Uh, can you give me a message if you're on uh, CPL? Give me a message. Uh, Daxter Stas, hello there, sir. Uh, mods, yeah, you can find them on the CPL.gg website. Also, Ben is saying that uh, with Magnus internals, the gold will be scarce. Okay, so uh, I gotta say, uh, let's actually make a photograph over here. A uh, mental image of Milantos' empire. This is uh, 1045. He, he did finish uh, the Colosseum for uh, one turn or something. And I do see um, he's on 25 science with 45 culture and 15 gold a turn. His cities will uh, get the extra happiness level. He's going to get a boost uh, when it comes to uh, the amenities. And, of course, all of the other yields benefiting from the happiness level. Uh, we do need to see if he's uh, going to manage to, uh, first of all, get more series out. And, second of all, catch up to his uh, opponent. Uh, well, at the moment, it does look like CC Pyro is way behind on this. The, he does have 31 science with 21 culture, but it, it doesn't look like he can uh, explode here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five series. Uh, would have loved to actually see a few, two more, uh, I would say. Anyway, it doesn't look like this is happening. And uh, you do see Ottomans is getting a few horses uh, for, to be a little bit more aggressive here. Uh, I do also notice uh, Ottomans uh, might put a setter to the west side. Ottomans does have a good-ish unit, uh, the um, naval raider, uh, uh, which is, I totally forgot how it is. How is it called? Uh, Barbara Costa. Oh, Thank Barbary Corsair. There we go. The Barbary Corsair. It's a pretty good unit if you couple it with uh, some strong ones in the front line or just uh, try to keep it invisible and pillage your opponent's coast. Uh, also, how uh, has the game been going? Uh, had to pick up wife, so I um, have missed most of it. Man, wife uh, comes first. What can I say, Rodri? Uh, it's going well. At the moment, we didn't see any... Uh, any major words here we didn't notice uh, korea did settle uh, in the, the face of hungary and i do notice another city is going to settle over here looks like hungary is going to take over singapore soon has uh, four classical units to attack into uh, singapore's defenses of only 22 while he's going to need to um, uh, repair and get to a higher technology he's struggling to get there but he's he's on the way he's on the way um milentos did manage to get that Colosseum, and we're waiting right now to see if uh, that's going to be a good return on investment and and it looks like he's not getting punished for this. That that might be why Milentos did go for it. He knew that is is uh, like there's nobody to actually punish him for uh, being so early for sacrificing this. Okay, I'm a bit surprised about Kid not pushing into Kagwana. Yeah, he probably just forgot about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Again, this is, this is actually be. what always happens to Hungry to me. Like, I've, like, like, it is obviously a pretty brutal time, and you have so much stuff to do. Yeah. Especially on Hungry, like, you literally have to click on the other side 
and move your units. Sometimes you just forget. Yeah, true. Uh, I got a call. Hey, pizza coming. Kick. Um, Byzantium is starting to build up his uh, heavy chariot count and I do see a few temples coming out from him. Uh, hippodromes are also pre-placed. Usually uh, what uh, Byzantium does want to do is uh, pre-place these, uh, leave them on one turn and then uh, finish them uh, when after he, he gets his uh, Tagma technology so he can pop out uh, free Tagmas for, out of those districts. Uh, we do have uh, Fizzle Poison also uh, starting to get a few more settlers going here or at least one settler from uh, the city of Ephesus. Now he did manage to get to 7.5 from uh, the city of Sparta and put down a campus on the west side, the plus four bit next to the mountains. A bit unfortunate that his government plaza is not going to give bonuses to other um, uh, districts over here, but I guess, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, plus three uh, campus also being put down for Mycenae and uh, I do notice in the north is uh, finally getting his Acropolis in the city of Rhodes. Not a lot of uh, population for him to benefit from, but he did manage to get to 41 science and 44 culture. Ozymandias, though, he's starting to overwhelm their science numbers with 60 culture at 10 and 30, uh, 60 science at 10 and 30 culture at 10 and 75 production. Looks like he is uh, gonna have a good timing on those, um, or good ish timing on those uh, Hawachas. We do have him construction in two times. Mercenary is coming up in four and he's getting his. Um, wave of builders with uh, feudalism at the moment to uh, allow him to uh, get more chops and improve his land quite quickly. Uh, this was what was um, pointed at by uh, Justice. Uh, this is one of those moments in the game when a lot of the players are getting to the feudalism timing and they're starting to um, pre-build or build a lot of uh, these uh, builders with uh, the plus five, with the plus two bonuses on plus five uh, total charges. Uh, we do see some uh, coming up from Aztec as well. Aztec is uh, feudalism four times. And uh, we, or did he just finish it? I'm actually no, I don't. I don't think he finished it. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Never mind. Yes, he did. I do see five charge builders here. I think he just bought one. Uh, also, same thing happening on uh, Ottomans. Uh, we do have a big navy coming up from Milantovic on the western coast. Uh, 27 science with 44 culture is going to mean he's going to take quite a while uh, to get to his uh, caravels, but uh, still, that's uh, going to be a good advantage that he's going to get from building up uh, that navy count. Uh, we do have also Suvorov, uh, Ottomans, uh, trying to push a little bit into England, taking and Gazargamu. That's uh, going to put him right close. Uh, up and personal to the English series and allow him to uh, push into his opponent. Uh, also, access uh, can you check Golden Age on Hungary and Korea because that's for a settle might flip. Uh, we do have a kid uh, getting his golden, he's 52 52. Korea, he is 43 out of 50, uh, 43, but he needs 54. Yeah, well, that uh, we'll see. I see uh, Mercen is coming up in two, Ozymandias is in, still in oligarchy, so he can get uh, monarchy in the meantime. M Mikhail is going to actually uh, push him uh, the bonus here on uh, Divine Right, so he should be he should be able to get uh, Golden, to be honest. Uh, he could get a boat, he could get uh, a monarchy, I think it's fine. Uh, where do I find the Discord? Uh, it's... HTTPS discord.gg slash CPL. There we go. But you need to actually uh, say uh, register. Oh, you mean you're on my Discord? Oh, you got on my Discord. Hello there. Uh, we're on uh, CPL though. Uh, CPL yeah. uh, because we're uh, I'm streaming also for uh, Sue for the uh, Russian community. Hmm. So actually, yes. it looks like uh, that uh, Ozymandias is kind of fitting his powers back here, uh, being content with like uh, only defending for himself. Yeah, I gotta say, uh, that economy doesn't look good. Uh, Like Oz Ozymandias, he, yes, he's kind of defending. Well, yeah, that. that's very true, but at the same time, I see a lot of maces that can be chopped. So, like, if if you really want to commit to your timing, you can pretty much always find some gold. Yep. Let's see, uh, oh, Byzantium got Tagmas. We got one, two Tagmas coming around here. 
not a lot of them. Uh, Dromons also come here from Constantinople. We do have um, him actually over the necessary points. Where, where is he going? Getting Dromons here? Oh, Kagwana is gonna die. Okay. It's forty-two. Yeah, not sure. I've got uh, Dromon City strength now. So. Hmm. Uh, Tagma, Tagma, yes. Uh, uh, not Roman Tagma, yeah, of course. Yeah. And we we might uh, see these uh, swordsmen give their life for. Oh, never mind. It gets walls. It's fine. It's gonna survive. He's a survivor, man. He's a survivor. It's fine. Uh, hello there, flying toilet. Please don't call me that. Uh, we do have. Uh, Aquila's coming up from uh, Seoul. Uh, we do have uh, crossbows coming up from Gangnung. I do see Chen Chen doing the same. So uh, he's slowly getting to that point in the game where he's uh, going to start preparing for his Hawachas. Uh, now, uh, Hungary is uh, going to need to get uh, much stronger units than this. Probably Musketman if he wants to withstand the, the Hawachas plus uh, the, uh, how to say, the general damage. Uh, we do see Hung Hungary on the two, four, six, uh, seven cities. He got to another one over here to the south uh, in between the mountains. And uh, he did get initiation rights as a pantheon this was the last pantheon that we didn't check initiation rights as a pantheon interesting uh choice uh can he get to i don't think he can get to musket man and these these hungarian swordsmen are going to be butter uh, when those howages are going to start shooting at them Anyway, we got some horses uh, coming up from England to defend himself against uh, the forces of Ottomans. You can see this was enough uh, to actually force uh, England to put some production into this. And he's uh, going to need to move away from building up a fleet. Doesn't actually have a fleet. One, two, three boats? That's not a fleet. Okay. Uh, I, I do notice uh, Aztec did um, get those coastal trade routes with England and the gold generation on this side on CPS is starting to be amazing. And we do have 100 gold on CC Pyro, Banak is on 100 gold, Fizrep was on 11 and Kid is on 51. Uh, they can afford a lot of things. On the other side, uh, Nat Haina does only have, what, 40 gold in between? Cause, no, it, actually even less than that because uh, Mikhail is on uh, minus 7 and Ozymandias is on minus 1. Yeah, I see seven seas on the map. No, it's eight. Uh, why Age of Steam uh, least uh, production? Uh, less cities. Uh, the the easiest answer to that is uh, he, he didn't build a lot of cities. Well, also, he obviously doesn't have any industrials, which is the yeah. main bonus of Age of Steam. <laughs> yeah, 54. 54 production. He made, I would have to say, he... Uh, he made quite a few sacrifices here and it doesn't look like they're paying off. Uh, I'm also taking into account the city placements that he did on the west side here. Uh, city count, he doesn't have all of the cities that he should have settled. Yeah, um, I would assume he places industrials on 7 pop and then he may increase in production, but uh, he's definitely behind the curve. Yeah, he is three turns away from getting cartography, while Milentos is uh, one turn away from us. He has uh, ten of these galleys ready to go. He doesn't have a uh, animal for them. It looks like uh, both England and Rome did pass. Uh, Byzantium passed on this. So uh, unless uh, somebody's gonna get to buy that one out, it's uh, not gonna happen. Now we do have. Uh, Geneva getting attacked by uh, Byzantium and it looks like he's uh, getting a settler with his army as well to put it in the front of his uh, opponent while uh, Greece is starting to get a few of these uh, writers well we'll see if uh, he's going to be able to withstand the awesomeness power of Byzantium uh, we do have Byzantium on 47 sides with 59 culture Fizile Pozo 57 and 62 not bad but he's going to have a two front attack here of two front uh, defense actually to uh, keep up against his opponent uh, I do also notice uh, Korea is uh, uh, finishing up these uh, crossbows he's getting a boat out uh, this is uh, where the players are uh, really scrambling to get their era score points Ozymandias is uh, 10 points out we do have uh, Suvorov uh, quite low in the points over here in the era score uh, is this uh, where uh, when we need to see his uh, Barbaric Corsair come out or does he even have that technology Divine Rate coming up in two turns. Man, he's so far away. 40 cents and 50 culture. Only 33 gold a turn. Uh, yeah, th this is uh, this is not big. And one of the results is uh, he didn't ever get those externals going. Still using uh, Governor Internals, uh, Governor Magnus Internals, one, two, three, four, from what I can see. Yeah, um, and by the way, uh, like 
I do understand that it's not really the same, but uh, this is actually like we we talked a lot about like Malm, Holy Side Worm, right? Yeah. And uh, not Malm, uh, Asticos. Asticos, yes, yes. Um. So yeah, and and like uh, this right here is the problem when you have like a Holy Side spammer in your backline. Yeah. Uh, pretty much what Byzantium does here. Like he he pretty much does provide nothing for his team right now. Like he will look good later on if it comes to the point. Uh, but like if if you have using mid game push like on Korea for example like this, who could really use up a lot of gold. Uh, like just just as an example, uh, Korea's really pretty much left alone here. Like he had to build an aqueduct uh, to to boost himself to military engineering. He has to hard build crossbows because there will not be enough gold to upgrade the harvesters, etc., etc. Like all of this is really slowing down Ozymandias here. If if he had a team providing all of this stuff for him, he could have a much higher impact, in my opinion. Yeah, both both of the seamers went uh, totally different direction. Uh, yeah, I, I agree. Um, I, I guess we're going to need to see if uh, the gold is going to be there, but I find it extremely unlikely. Uh, what I do notice is uh, we do have uh, quite a few more production points uh, coming up for uh, Nathaina versus uh, CPS, while CPS does have uh, the gold advantage on their side. It, it, uh, let's see how this matters. Let's see how this is uh, going to impact. I, in most of the games that I've seen, actually, gold per turn is a little bit more uh, more uh, uh, impactful in the game than uh, just straight up production with no gold per turn no, we'll see yes um, like coupled with the mercenary card and the fact that uh, you can just provide gold from the backline to the front line uh, just uh, is much more effective than if the front line has to hard build everything for himself yeah uh, look at all of the Roman navy yeah Rome, Rome is going crazy here Rome is getting a lot of boats out and whoa, we got CC Pyro actually leaving uh, the city of Namadol, attacking into Antium, while uh, there is a legion coming up in two turns there. I'm pretty sure Milentos, Milentovic uh, can actually get um, one of his warriors improved into a legion, and it's uh, gonna be scary. And uh, Antium, it looks like it's uh, gonna survive. Never mind. I mean, it was a good try, but it wasn't meant to be. We do have uh, Geneva attacked by those uh, Tagmas. They did uh, punch through the defenses of uh, the city walls very quickly. Uh, and the Tagmas do deal um, full strength against the walls that... Uh, against the city that was converted to their own religion. And that's uh, what happened here in Geneva. He's getting another city to the northwest on that river. And it looks like he's going to have a staging place uh, to go against Greece. Uh, city count is a problem here for, uh, for all of the players. Except, I, I would say... Um, for some of the players, actually, let's not put them all in the bag here. Uh, Anshan is getting attacked by Aztec. I do see uh, encampment coming up from Chimpuala. Uh, Barak did well to get um, a lot of cities, and he can still get a, uh, more cities. One, two, uh, three that I can see. He's able, he's putting one on the die style, or at least next to the die style. I'm very curious about this. Where is he gonna settle it? Looks like Rain uh, did establish in uh, Teotihuacan. They're gonna use that city to uh, get going, uh, starting to get his production numbers up with the industrial zone in, Teo, uh, in Teo, Tenochtitlan, his uh, capital city, and uh, also building up uh, the aqueducts. And he did get pyramids, man. There we go. Johannesburg showing up big for him. You know, it is what it is. He yeah, got the pyramid. For the city. <laughs> now Man. you can rotten in peace. <laughs> Amazing wonder. And look at the difference here. Hungary has the gold to upgrade whatever units he wants. There's no gold on Asimandius. Like, he has the technology. He's uh, wanting stirrups. He's going for uh, his divine right. He has a few crossbows. He was forced to hard build them. And it takes him like four turns to get this going. While he already has uh, to contend with uh, man at arms and uh, crossbows attacking into his units. Oh man, this encampment is just getting bullied. Uh, they are uh, leaving last Magnus uh, internal meta. Last Magnus internal meta, or as in uh, these are the last days of the Magnus internal meta. 
Well, I mean, I don't know if there's necessarily a matter about it. Like, I feel like the place if it's in right now is a very good place because there are definitely opportunities uh, where you're supposed to go Magnus Internals and mm -hmm. in late game. Uh, but like in cases like this, it can also break you your neck because you cannot provide for your frontliner. So yeah, yeah. I, I generally feel like you definitely have to judge from game to game, which is generally a good thing. Uh, mm -hmm. I would say from a balance perspective. Uh, but yeah, I wouldn't necessarily say that like Magnus is dead or like Magnus is the way to go. You really have to look from game to game. You need to do as a player in, in your wall in this particular game. Mm -hmm. oh, I see uh, Senior Testa is telling us, uh, well, he wanted to get in over here. Uh, oh, he has EG, you have EG, give me a picture. If you have EGS, give me a picture of your, uh, uh, it's a pump. Uh, give me a picture of account. Sorry, uh, can you talk a little bit more so when I sort this out? Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, we have to answer here. Magnus no longer always the answer. Having to be situational is a good thing. Yeah, it's pretty much what I was, the, what I just said, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and and once again, this is a very nice thing because you really have to adapt. And at least in my mind, Sif is a ad adaptability. So mm -hmm. like whoever adapts best uh, and reads the game correctly will succeed. And I think this is uh, this is pretty beautiful. <laughs> mm, yeah. Other than this. We do have a ton of pre-builds for Rome, which is another example of why it's very problematic to not have gold. So even though CC Pyro may have not a lot of ships, he may actually be able to kill off all of this Rome navy because they simply have no gold to upgrade the carols. That's a lot of gold that needs to be invested there. And yeah, I agree. Oh my god, I don't know what's going on with Discord. Kick. Uh, no, no, we actually see men at arm advancing into Korea, which is kind of unheard of. And once again, I, I can really only say this is not necessarily Ozymandias' fault by himself, but it really just shows they simply have no gold <laughs> yeah. to upgrade anything. And this is, uh, you, you said earlier that they might... Uh... Uh, they might actually uh, chop the main style so they can get some uh, extra gold there. Yeah, this uh, this is also a very true oversight. Yeah, like I see at least two in uh, his own land. They mm -hmm. definitely will be more in. Like uh, you can chop a crab, you can chop a maze and stuff like this. Uh, if you're really scrambling for gold to upgrade, they feel like this is really the situation they're finding themselves uh, in right now. Because, like, you can generally say, even if you're Magnusing and stuff like this, you're definitely supposed to uh, switch to externals I at latest two, three, in, four, in, in five, like, the late 50s, fired. early 60s, when you get to Diplo service. Yeah. And, uh, like, uh, the, what I'm trying to say is, uh, gold-wise, I would say there, there is light at the end of the tunnel, if this makes sense. Yeah, yeah. But you have to get there, and you need the gold right now. Okay, this we're... is where the chopping can really help you. Uh, we're getting in uh, Asha. Let's see. Or I should say, um, Senor Testa. We got an invitee over here. Let's get him in. Hello there, sir. Bonjour. Hello. Peace. How are you doing? I'm good. I woke up like an hour ago. Hey, good yeah, morning. Then. <laughs> okay. The different time zones. Different time zones. What can I say? Yeah, I'm on the, on the East Coast. Nice. What do you think about the game? What did you want to ask us? Uh, so I'm just tuning in. I know it's the big gold difference. Is that just because the Ottomans used to making more gold than everyone else? Well, pretty much Ottomans just go external and also Rome well, choose to shop for Colosseum rather than uh, getting for rather than getting more cities and uh, have harbors and stuff like this. It's really up to the, it's really up to the players what happens here and uh, the decisions. 
this, uh, like, this is also the main point why I feel like we can uh, sensefully criticize it uh, because it's not like in some positions you can say like oh okay we, we couldn't set up like you spawned isolated you couldn't set up a trade route and stuff like this but this is really not the case here uh, I uh, do have to mention that um, most of the time it's not really well known that Ottomans makes a lot of gold at the beginning, especially with the uh, Magnus internals. Um, it's, it is well known for him to explode when he starts uh, getting externals with the Grand Bazaars. That's usually the, the timing and that's not early. That You need actually want banking for that, which comes uh, in the mid part of the tree over here it takes quite a bit of time to get to uh, banking and uh, then time to get the grand bazaars going and it also looks like uh, he did kind of poke the bear in the south but i think um, he did very well with the move on then gazargamo this forces uh, england to counter attack into those uh, into that city and uh, or get an army out at least and uh, England is uh, not going to get to fully uh, build up his uh, fleet to defend against his opponent while uh, I do notice uh, they don't have gold this uh, might actually be exactly what saves him like Milontovic if you would have had the gold to go for caravels he would have gotten a lot of uh, caravels next turn now it looks like he doesn't he maybe just have one single or two caravels and England already has his uh, caravels out and there might be also a difference when it comes to admirals uh, I think the last time we checked they were locked and they're still locked never mind nobody's opening these guys up oh actually seriously got taken down oh yeah he did need to take it down because he already kept uh, Kaguana so it looks like uh, Antio here is going to be a staging place uh, to go against Greece while Greece is uh, going to have to defend against the east no, we do have uh, one uh, what bit, one thing over here to do. Uh, we're going to have a pause of uh, two minutes. I I'm sorry, Senor Testa, you got into the pause, but I guess after two minutes, we're uh, going to get to talk a little bit more. Uh, no worries. And when, in terms of uh, viewing the game, do most people just watch it in your stream, or is it a different way? Okay. I don't know. Okay, so uh, two minutes is the pause. I'm gonna open up the mic in uh, two minutes. Be right back. Uh, It's not. It's not. Uh, okay, I'm back. Let's let's see what happened over here. Uh, Heinrich Dev is saying he can barely hear you. Let me actually fix that uh, for him. And you can hear a fine. Uh, I'll say uh, justice, right? Uh, yeah. Sure. yeah. Okay. All normal. I'll add uh, a bit more volume to uh, Senior Testa. 
Um, Tehouse is also mentioning that Basil had a free religion and if uh, it thought they would have done the gold uh, problem coming down. Uh, black just something. followed. Uh, to mitigate or help that, yeah. Porky the Black, hello, thank you for the follow, sir. Uh, I do have to say, um, we do need to take a look at the World Congress before everything. Uh, 10, uh, 10 uh, more religious strength on uh, So I Love You. International trade draws minus four gold on uh, Muhteshem, and it looks like uh, they're trying to nerf him a little bit, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, Basil did get the two diplo points. Uh, he didn't get the uh, Mahabodhi Temple yet. Uh, one of the issues that I do see over here, and I was thinking about uh, what happened earlier uh, about the gold generation, this might have been a miscommunication problem uh, on their side. As in, uh, the, uh, exactly when they needed the gold, they might have uh, miscommunicated uh, what they want to do in the game and did not uh, state out clearly uh, how they're going to get their strategies in their team. While I think uh, Shakun Porsoa did have a bit more of a clear clear communication uh, between them when they wanted to do and what they wanted to do against their opponents. So uh, there, uh, there are other opponents that were uh, trying to do um, uh, the gold and trying to get the resources for them, did have time to actually do so. They focused their efforts. And wait, GG? Whoa! <laughs> the gold congress break the neck. <laughs> Whoa! And, and I mean, to be fair, I kind of agree with it. Like, they, the they already scrambled so much. Wow. God Congress was really was was really breaking the bowel, I assume. Yeah, it looks like that's it, guys. But yeah, I mean, uh, they didn't have uh, that much confidence that uh, Byzantium is going to push in. Um, it, it does look like uh, Rome did not have enough gold. We uh, did have uh, the push of um, uh, Hungary going against uh, Korea. Korea didn't have gold. So they ended up with no gold, no gold, no gold, no gold. And that actually, I think, pushed them over the edge in the mental uh, state they were in. Uh, usually, it does matter quite a bit to actually have uh, good positive mental state in the game and uh, of course this actually relies on uh, a lot of communication being done over there but that this is okay uh, uh, this is a bit unexpected i gotta say unexpected but uh, good congratulations to uh, shakun porsoa for getting the win against uh, nat haina we're gonna also need to hear from the players what happened over there in the in the debrief screen i'm not sure if uh, uh, you want to join us, uh, Senior Testa? Uh, but if you do have anything uh, else to add, uh, throw it out here. Uh, to be honest, I only saw like five minutes of this game, so. Oh, okay. I okay. can't really talk about that. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Next stream, next stream. Just just call me out. Now you know where, where to go. And, yeah, uh, there's another game tomorrow. Uh, yes, there is another game tomorrow. Uh, I think it's a little bit later, though. Uh, 1800 or something like that. So that's maybe that maybe on will uh, synchronize better with your uh, timetable. What what time zone are you in? Uh, I'm minus three GMT. No, plus three GMT. Plus three GMT. I'm East European. But it's fine. I always uh, stream at evenings, so <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, okay, let, let's hear from the boys. For popping. Thank you so much, for Senior Testa, for joining. Uh, Justice, uh, I guess we're going to see each other in the debrief screen? Uh, uh, no, not really. I'm actually very hungry. Uh, we'll get okay, okay. Come. Hey, bon appetit. Bon appetit. Right. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. With, with yeah. pleasure. So, uh, good. Uh, GG, well played. Yeah, GG. Uh, what happened? Why? Uh... Zero yeah. gold. Zero gold. As I Zero. said before, yeah, there's a problem because we lose this Congress. This Congress is GG for us. We can't upgrade anything. I have a lot of free builds, but we don't have gold. Uh, we, we can't uh, make any gold now. There's a problem. Okay. Um, when you did the draft over there, I, I guess you were already expecting a bit lower gold per turn because of Byzantium and uh, Sejong. Uh, did, did you uh, consider Rome and, um, or did you rely on Rome and Ottomans to give you the gold? Uh, yeah, there was something like that because uh, I think soon uh, Ottoman will get his banks uh, and, uh, you know, uh, we will have an idle trade now, but uh, it's too late. Why don't you want to, to go naval trade uh, early as possible? Or why don't you want to go Amani on Nanmadol to to go on it with uh, your trader 
I think yeah. your, your Magnus mm. was not that great in that game. Uh, to be honest, I think I am on uh, free sim here because um, when we scout in the map, uh, we saw England and uh, firstly we think that uh, it's all on inland sea. That's a problem. So uh, I think I will just uh, easily sim with uh, Magnus and but uh, when we see England, uh, it's been only one I need to make uh, a lot of pre-builds. To That's defend. Cool, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I have a lot, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. Because uh, in the second part of the game, I think we will have uh, a lot of gold, but also we have Ottoman normal age, and mm -hmm. that's quite weird, yeah. That's very difficult with Ottoman to, to reach a gold lane. And there were yeah. the, the horses with England uh, trying to, to get Engazar Gamu at the same time. It's yeah, yeah. Uh, very complicated to, to play Ottoman, but uh, sometimes it can be huge. And I think if the game goes long, 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 you try to defend, you maybe have a shot, but uh, your lack of gold is so huge, so 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 important in the game. Yeah, that's true. And uh, also the problem was uh, that um, you know we we have um, like we, we, I think that, uh, we can play uh, some some different in some different way. It will be better, but but still after the congress, I don't think we will have enough gold. Okay, GG. Yep. Yeah, GG, GG, well played. Yeah. Do you have any question, uh, Michael? Yes, I do. How was uh, Sejong allowed to get that settled on uh, Hungary? What happened there? Well, well, Chanchon, Chanchon. I mean, distance from his uh, I, I agreed uh, more than him. So, <laughs> okay. no units. I, I, I didn't expect it, and uh, I was like, okay. <laughs> you did it. Yeah, <laughs> you did it. Yeah, to be well, honest, you got lucky that with uh, no gold on their side, Hawacha uh, would have been so tough for you to handle. Yeah, yeah, I was uh, really afraid of Atreus, but that's why I up uh, Man at Arms and I want to try putting pressure on him. Mm -hmm. So so they have less, less gold, but yeah. If they add gold, I think that uh, it will be really hard to... And maybe not because uh, I'm not that far from... Uh, from uh, ballistic, yeah, ballistic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have good science. You have, uh, yeah, you are near of ballistic, and you, you should have notice, notice. I don't, I don't know how to say. Notice, yeah, yeah. You notice. You, you, you should have noticed that they, they, they did not add gold at all. In, yeah, in a we... game like this, you, you said you you didn't notice at the beginning, and if you if you did, you you should know that there is no panic in the game. I mean, a lot of, of, of more gold and you should be proactive, you, and not them. And uh, at a moment when you, you go in on Chan Chan, I was like, that's perfectly the, the thing he has to do because they, 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 they can't up for, 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 for Korean, up for the Byzantium, up for the Rome at the same time, and Ottoman need some gold to to to, to keep seeming. There, there was like nearly fifty gold by turn. It was uh, it was very low for for their purpose because they tried to push three side different. It's it's not possible. Je m'exprimerai en français. Ça sera plus facile. Oui, non mais très bien, très bien. <laughs> so sorry, so sorry. <laughs> no, no problem. No problem. Uh, and if you have a, no more questions, I will continue in French then. Yeah, yeah all good. Pass aussi. Well, uh, congratulations for the win. And I guess we'll uh, catch you on uh, other streams over there. Have a good evening. Yeah. Bonne soirée. Bonne uh, well, th this is it. Uh, this concludes the stream for today. Thank you so much, um, uh, Justice, for uh, coming and uh, giving us uh, your thoughts. I do hope uh, we actually covered a little bit more details on uh, the spawns and um, our our uh, readout on um, uh, where they should place the spawns and why they should place the spawns and also why they did what they did in the game. Uh, that uh, I, I hope uh, that's going to be added benefits over here for you. Uh, I also hope uh, if you're coming up from YouTube, you're going to throw this uh, video a thumbs up because you enjoyed the content and we're going to see each other on the live stream on twitch.tv slash um, You can also check out my schedule um, uh, quite easily uh, using my uh, Discord. Uh, in my Discord channels, uh, you do find the two of them. Uh, you're going to have upcoming streams, upcoming games uh, that will uh, all 
always have the games of the week and uh, it does take me some time to actually update them usually they do get updated around uh, Tuesdays or um, Wednesdays uh, for the upcoming week uh, while on Spot TV streams will always handle the next stream the next stream the next stream so tomorrow we're gonna have um, uh, TVMT versus 12+, plus at 1800 uh, GMT, uh, and uh, we're going to need to see what uh, they're going to do over there. Uh, that's, uh, I think, uh, that will be the last game of week three, uh, while tomorrow we're going to also have a uh, few other games uh, being played a little bit earlier in the day. Uh, you can check them out on the sif6worldcup.com uh, website. Uh, they already have the casters assigned. You're going to get the streams uh, directly on the web pages uh, to uh, make it much more easily for you to follow the tournament. Uh, also on the website, you can find out uh, most of the information uh, relevant for the games over here uh, for the group stages and the results also uh, each of the games are getting reported and uh, we do have a readout uh, statistic for uh, the civilizations uh, which is getting banned with the most which is getting uh, picked the most and uh, of course uh, their uh, their importance um, values for the players uh, thank you for so much for everything for the subs for the follows so thank you for supporting the stream and i do hope uh, we're gonna see each other in the next one have a good evening everybody and uh, with much pleasure uh, heinig dave uh, <laughs> okay okay yeah with much pleasure uh, thank you for the transmission Ooh, i hope you liked it hope you liked it let's see each other in the next one thank you so much for by the way also senior testa for joining us a little bit on uh, on the stream hope to see you uh, tomorrow and uh, we're gonna catch you on uh, the live chat have a good evening Bye-bye.